I'm sorry, love. It's all right. Let's go. Are you not listening to me? Whoever the hell that girl is, she most certainly isn't Shut who you up. think. I don't give a damn. I should have been more persuasive when making my case for him to drop her. Eleventh is John Balks, a.k.a. the mayor of this podunk little backwater. Watch your ass, Eleventh. I'm coming. We'll be splitting up into nine teams. Once a perimeter has been established, each team is to work as a... You can't sit on the fence. It's time to settle on which side looks greener. Don't whine about it. This is how choices get made. The rest of you can suck it. Godfrey becomes me. Huh, what's this crap? Defense schematics? I'll be damned. This pays off the remainder of my debt. Shop's closed from now on. Oily bastard. Why this place? What the hell is all this? Somewhat imposing, yes. A little. We call it Holon 3, the third largest supercomputer in the country. Exquisitely helpful. Why do I shudder to hear you use that word? Perhaps a pang of misgiving as to my intentions for your diary. Every man, woman, and child in Sakurami has been allotted a mobile account that routes through this magnificent pylon. For what possible reason? Is it not obvious? When I connect the propagation diary to hold on three, every citizen will become a diary holder. <laughs> Empire's traffic in power is beyond the ken of their vassal lands. Macedonia, Rome, Germany. Sakurami will stand beside them in the annals of history. A city of prophets to which all others shall bend. My ass! You're a lunatic! Okay, Sarah, Sarah, dear. Oh, crap! Drop this. HQ, Team 3 reporting. There's been an explosion. The terrorist has reared her head right on schedule. Deal with her accordingly, would you? Sir. This is some bullshit. How was he not surprised? Screw it. East Lab it is. Team Six, we'll try to grab her on route. What? Someone tell Team Five to cover the East Lab. Stand. What the hell? Is this a clairvoyant diary type of deal? He's calling intel from his toadies? No, they haven't even seen me yet. She'll make a beeline for the men's dormitory. Yes, sir. The intruder I see the all nine. There is no escape. Team six, checking in. I'm sorry. No sign of her. Do you think she's on to us? Don't worry about it. Keep patrolling. Nine, head for the woman's dorm. She's on her way there next. If you can, cut her off in the path. What is this? This is Jima to headquarters. I just saw a person skulking toward the quad. It was definitely no one I recognize. Teams five and six, go check it out. What are you trying to pull? Thought we were done with each other. Well, let's just say I got tired of sitting on the fence. And here's the part where you tell me what changed your mind. Okay. You did. Shut the hell up. I'm being proposed to? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! Huh? Nobody gave you permission to put that on me! Would you please stop freaking out? Excuse me for wanting more for myself than being a friggin' baby factory! I think you'd make a wonderful mom. <laughs> 
You'd be wise to surrender your diary. Why continue to let blood heap senselessly on blood? I am asking you for your help. And I believe you. Too hot in here? I don't wear this to be whimsical. Hmm. You asked. I'm giving it to you. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Will you slow down, please? At least give me some kind of answer. This isn't the time or the place. Our illustrious mayor's battier than a chimp on speed. It'd be easier to deal with him if you had an extra pair of hands. Let go or you'll need him. What's with you? I'm not the sort of gal who's waiting for her knight in shining armor, okay? Stop acting like I'm sentencing you to life. I'd rather stamp out license plates, actually. I need you. Aha, pervert! Will you give me a break here? I'm burying my damn soul. Ah! Let's you and me make a little agreement. Help me and I'll consider it without retching. All right. Good a start as any under the circumstances. <sighs> Why is this getting under my skin? This guy's a joke. I'm a loner. A rebel. I blow shit up. We've got a visual! This is Team Six, we have them! Case in point! <laughs> How much longer till the propagation diary is fully connected? Just a matter of moments. She's through here! Yes, she is! That is so cheating! Misguided fool. A shambling one-trick pony with a diary every bit as absurd as your confidence. The Watcher renders all notion of escape obsolete. This is the electronics lab team. The assailant has been captured. This is it. <laughs> One big happy family, sir. Sorry, guys. Afraid you're in for a hollow victory. Follow my lead to hell. Like I can say goodbye to the moral high ground for a little while, too, huh? After all that, it couldn't have been this easy. He knew every angle. No way Mr. By the Book surprised him. Except he doesn't have a diary. Hold on. <laughs> I see you're not dry heaving. all that bad. Look, it's complicated. I, uh, 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 oh, God. We got a code red, people. A patient threatening suicide, requesting backup. Please, come off the ledge and let's talk about this. You don't get it. I die tomorrow. Hey, these are tomorrow's stock prices. You're gonna have sukiyaki tonight, aren't we, Mom? That's right. Are you reading Mom's mind? Okay, that's bizarre. When did I post on my blog today? Crap! What the hell is going on? A testament to the power of redundancy, don't you think? The portion of Holon three damaged in their ill-advised attack was entirely peripheral. The dawn of our glory shall not be denied. Boss. Tough luck. Science doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell as long as the nature of Eleven's diary stays on the DL. Ah, the silent treatment. That's all right. Things are going well. Murmur. That's the name. I feel I should rest for a spell. Good idea. You do that. She is up to something. Any fool could see it. Should I counter her move before what power I have left deteriorates further? Clearly, I am in need of aid. I hate this. They must.
might be coming at us with tanks for all I know. Who the hell are you trying to call? I think Akusei will know what to do. The twink? Booyah! Totally called it! Wait, you're Akusei's... What up? Good to see you again, detective. Cool. You beat us here. Hope you haven't been waiting long. I'm not getting why you're even... Fuck me. So who's got what diary? Feast your eyes on the badass Neo Koska King diary. A blockbusting play-by-play -play of me and my posse and all her unadulterated epicness. Crone, this is the friendship diary. As you can guess, it keeps track of what I'm doing with the peeps. And I call this my lovely Hinata diary. It's like a digital scrapbook of Hinata's life so far. Hold on, excuse me? Kind of stalkerish. We haven't talked about this? No. No, don't read it! The nurse gave us physicals today. Hinata's boobs are like humongous. Hooray, Hooray for movies! Hooray for Hinata! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Stop acting like a bee! You have no right to Who are you people and why the hell are you here? Akisei told me to show up and help you guys out. Said you'd be, like, completely cut off or whatever. My diary basically told me the same thing. Mine didn't. I was just tagging along. Imagine that. Checks out, I guess. Where is Akisei? I asked him to come, but he said he was busy with something. What are these hold-on things all about? Oh. Get uh, it! Hey, it's my ass if you break it! Of course. There's more than one. Bulk survived the explosion? Looks like we are going to need some serious computer geekage in our corner on this one. Or we take another crack at it. According to this, the two main units are housed on the penthouse floor of the quad tower downtown. It's not going to be a straightforward cord yank, though. The units have to be put out of commission simultaneously. Meaning we're going to have to assemble a team. And we're here, so you know... Ah, oh, seriously? Screw that! I'm putting my foot down on this one! This crazy bitch is responsible for blowing up half my damn school! What I'm about to do is gonna make your school look small time. You're psychotic. <laughs> I'll take both quad tower units on my own. You can go home. Damn right we can. I'm better off without you. Get out of here, furballs. Is there some special reason you chase those kids away? No, not really. Unless you think it's special of me not to want to see them get killed. Same goes for you, incidentally. Why are you still here? Uh, got a bun in the oven, huh? Get out of here. I told you, I've done my time on the fence. I guess we better get a move on. About damn time! Son of a bitch. You're in. <laughs> hey, good luck saving the city without its resident badass. You're gonna need me up there. I couldn't sleep last night thinking about you two doing this on your own. I just didn't have anything better to do. Fantastic. Don't worry about it, sugar. We got this. When I said resident badass, I mean one with a weapon. Let our enemies try to pull a fast one on us with this mamma jam in the mix. I see you up there, douchebags! Idiot. I know, right? Hey, this is Wait, brilliant. that's it. Idiot. Burn. Bastard knew every move I was gonna make before I so much as wriggled a toe. But somehow Nishijima found his blind spot. What's he got that I don't? Please don't be what I think it is. Deus! Welcome, Knight. I brought you here to extend something of a proposal. Excuse my caution, but we needed privacy. From Murmur. Sure, whatever. I have a question. <laughs>
arrived. What shall we do, sir? They've split into two groups. One's in the south tower, the other's in the north. Both riding the elevators to 20. Go time, people. Operation Starling's in full swing. Intercept them when they get off the elevators, please. Kill them as cleanly as you possibly can. Yes, sir. We're in position at the south tower. Copy that. North tower's covered. Wait, what? We've got nothing. I beg your pardon. Gotcha, you slippery bastard. Keep tabs on us now. This is not possible. Sucks that all you can do is spy on other diary users. The Watcher's power is unique, to say the least. Do not think that because I devised this game, the concept for it sprang from my mind free of outside suggestion. Eleventh had a formative hand in the process. Seriously? The diaries I must credit to his imagination. He persuaded me to share a touch of my divinity with mankind so as to hasten its evolution. It was vital that each diary reflect the personality of its user, lest the game grow tiresome. Together we conceived a variety of applicable archetypes. The radar, for example, whose predictions function by proximity. The searcher, which foretells the actions of a given target. The organizer, whose focus is on that of a specified group. The supplier, bestowing the gift of prophecy upon third-party users. And finally, the watcher, Eleventh's invention, a diary capable of integrating the predictions of all other diaries in play. So he's essentially been monitoring the rest of us from the word go. Correct. He created this game for humanitarian purposes, so he assured me. Humanitarian? Are you fucking blind? I'll show you humanitarian. Do your thing. Already got the entry 3-4 salted, sweetheart. Edit our diary, screw with his. Hey, I'm a veteran blogger. Bullshit entries are my specialty. Less talking, more typing. We can't seem to pinpoint them. Neither team can find any trace of them in the areas that were specified. A diversion. <laughs> Starlings tend to travel in huge flocks, making an ungodly racket. Information overload. Make it hard for the enemy to separate signal from static. Have they puzzled out that I can monitor their diaries? So... Might actually stand a chance. If we're lucky. Please tell me when all this is over with, you'll trade in a whole hard-ass shtick for a wedding ring? Stop with that. We've got more important things to worry about. No! Me ah! today! You okay? Damn it, get the hell away from me! Oh, fuck. track of the orders you're to give me remains unaffected. The threat has passed. <laughs> Don't really feel like a badass right now. If you would quit screwing around, we wouldn't be in this mess. Uh-oh. Uh stay with me, man. I'll be fine. Just get out of here, will you? Don't even finish that thought. Damn it, listen. There's no point in worrying about me now. for comfort, don't you think? First? Why? We've been hanging back so you guys could lead the way. We were your decoys? We wouldn't have had a prayer without you. Get those hands dirty, my love. Yep. How much do I want you right now? What the hell you think you're trying to pull? Stick around, you might learn something. Hi there, Pookie. Rock and roll. What are they doing here? They're civilians. That makes them useful. Think about it for a minute. 
Vox is the mayor. He's a man of the people. This ride is gonna be awesome! I can't wait to give it a whirl. I wouldn't get my heart set on it. <laughs> what, you think I'm too short to get on? Is that it? Well, they do have a sign. I got a little something something for that. Candy? Yeah, right. More like chewable growth supplements that can fuss with my age. <laughs> last time around. Hey, it ain't no crime to be fun size, so spare me the pity. Somebody's short-tempered. I dealt with the left once and for all. That look. When did first grow a pair? I'm going to bring mom and dad back. I need to win this life. Sorry, but there's something I still gotta do. I promise, Nishijima, you won't be the last to bleed. We have to hurry. We've only got an hour before the cops storm the building. This had better work out. Don't tell me it slipped your mind, you hitting the bullseye. Also, Nishijima had no business dying today. You're alive right now because you're gunning for 11. But the second that your little plan doesn't work, I'm going to put the daylight through you. <laughs> Looks like you got us cornered, officer. I surrender. If we get out of this, remind me to kick your ass. When you said you could handle this, I thought it meant you actually had a plan. Listen up. If you get the three of us 86, it is definitely not gonna rock. <laughs> yeah, it will. 80s rock. So what do you think we should do with them? The mayor made it very clear he wanted these three disposed. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. You don't want to shoot us, man. We're just a bunch of kids. We won't blab about Holon, so we're cool, <gasps> yeah? I would have let him go if he hadn't said Holon. Guess we gotta kill him then. <laughs> Stop it! Just 
was two of our men. Get her! There you are. Gossai Bank? But... This bank breathed its last about a year ago. Ever since it went bankrupt, it's belonged to the city. I believe it was owned by the parents of your little chippy in better days. I'm not done with you, Fox! The irony is delicious. This vault was a holding of the Gusai family. Now we steal the shield from a pretender to their throne. No! The door's already rolling shut! We're gonna lose him! Faster! <laughs> or I spill it for you. Nishijima's the one man who ever promised to make me happy. And if he hadn't gotten wrapped up in this shit, I think he could have pulled it off. But we'll never know, will we? See you in hell. I have to put that rabbit whore down before she murders my Yuki. This doesn't rock. I got no idea where this nutty chick is leading us off to. Uh, huh? Why is Akise calling? Don't drag this out first. You know's coming for me right now. All I have to do is survive till then. A dead end. You might as well show yourself. Killing you's gonna take the last of my strength. I bet you I'll bleed out before your body's even cold. Your reason for wanting to win this was bullshit anyway. If I'm going to bring mom and dad back, I need to win this thing. I got a newsflash for you, kid. Parents die all the damn time, but what you don't see is other people going on killing sprees to bring them back. You're sad, because you lost your mom and dad just now, right? Well, cry me a river. I lost my folks in the Middle East, thanks to a 1,600-year-old fight about three takes on the same damn god. I couldn't speak the language, didn't know a soul. I had to steal to survive. Getting caught would have meant death something worse. Don't know why I'm telling you this, but I've kind of got a soft spot for you, Yuki. When I think of you running through that minefield like a damn fool or getting outsmarted by a toddler, you remind me of how pathetic I was back in the day, when I was just a little girl and my losses were still fresh. But you gotta face the facts. You ain't ever gonna get them back, kid. Your parents are dead! I hit you with both barrels and not a peep. Kudos for having the good sense to hold it all in. I need to change the future fast. Unless you kick off a rewrite, you're gonna take one to the head in about a minute. But if you do change the future, that static sound will give away your location. She's right. Ha! They hunt each other. 
mother to extinction as I watch from a fortified perch. It's too easy. They really outdid themselves, outfitting the second door with a retinal scanner. And the only eyes it will accept are mine, the deceased Gossai couples, and those of their adopted daughter, you know. The imposter shall not be granted access. under the pressure, did ya? Seems about par for the course. No offense. I think I'm gonna miss the way you squirm through life without a spine. Only a cell phone? I messaged Juno like I was about to die. She panicked just like I figured she would, causing the future to change. You wanted static. You little shit. I know that resurrecting my parents is selfish, but I can't just let them stay dead. Why aren't you pulling the trigger? I don't want to kill you. Huh? Listen to me. I swear on my soul I didn't want to kill any of them. But I did. More than I can count. This game left me no other choice. What the hell it did. Why don't you tell me then? If you're so smart, tell me what choice I had! Stop being such a bitch! Ah! Own your sins! You murdered them because it was better them than you! The gun! Nina, they know! It's like I told you, better you than me. for mommy and daddy to get up. I'm sorry. <laughs> right considerate of them to kill each other off. I'm betting you're ready to throw in the towel. But seeing as how you've given me so much data over the course of this fracas, I'm going to do you the honor of asking for your opinion first. You lost your parents, and as one might expect, you tried to avenge them. But you failed due to your inefficient use of your diary. <laughs> How very banal of you. All hail the conquering zero. I can't imagine the hubris that let you think you were fit to attempt this. You and your family were nothing more than lab rats running through a maze of my design. What did you say? I must admit, your killing Ninth was a pleasant surprise. Still, she was nothing more than a Bush League anarchist. I've got your pleasant surprise right here, Eleventh. How are you still alive? I'm stubborn. First is lucky that I am. I've got one hell of a bomb. And it's hooked up to a dead man switch. As soon as my heart gives out, it's pop goes the weasel time. If you think that door is going to save your ass, you're even dumber than most politicians. And that's saying something. You're crazy. You're going to blow yourself up? You're a trip. Shooting me is fine, but now you get your panties in a wad over this? Then again, it's not like I've been operating under the most logical rules of engagement lately. So I'll take care of the open sesame part. But whatever goes down after that is on your head. So own it.
If I break my diary, the bomb will go off as soon as I flatline. Been a while, huh? I finally did that thing you always wanted done. I hope you're happy. This is where we go our separate ways. So you go on ahead. Thanks. Such attack from won't affect my plans in the slightest, so have at it. <laughs> Your best day. inside the vault. on ASAP. Okay. All right. Aeth is the only keeper left to kill. And from the looks of it, Aru might just hand her right off to me. I'm in the home stretch. Honestly, I've got half a mind to march you up to his doorstep and ring the bell. I think that Yuki's the best candidate for Godhead by far. What's the other half of your mind say? There's the rub. Identity confirmed. Lot disengaged. Yuno Gasai does not inspire trust in me. Yuki's motive for wanting to win this game is pure. He wants to revive his parents and undo the events of this bloodbath. Yuno, on the other hand, remains such an enigma that we haven't even figured out a real identity. Sorry, but I need to ask a favor of you. Sweet Pea, what are you writing in there? Oh, it's all the people I've gotten killed over the course of this. As soon as I win, I'm gonna bring them all back. Take a second, think about how far you've come. Once there were 12 of us. Now all that's left to do is put a bullet in eighth. And one in yours truly. 
If you're going to bring your mom and dad back from the dead, you can't afford to get all sentimental. Besides, I'll be alive again. Because you're going to undo everything else, remember? Yuki, look! What is this phenomenon? The fabric of reality is starting to tear. Why is it happening to the whole city instead of the dead user? Why now? I don't want to be the voice of doom. But you know, Deus' time is almost up. If he doesn't pick a successor before he crumbles into oblivion, his death is going to take the whole world with it. But you can save it. Then, I promise you here and now, I'm going to put it all back the way it was. And I promise I'll make you happy. Well, isn't this funky? He's not supposed to kick the Deus bucket for a little bit longer. Did the big guy forget to carry the one or something? Not to be a diva, but the global kaput is set for a hard date of July 28th. He's got a soldier on until then. You like surprises, Murmur? What the hell? Don't you keepers ever knock? Haru, <laughs> up, say. And we've stepped through the looking glass. Does this mean I've been granted an audience with Deus? So sorry, but this chamber is invitation only! <laughs> Murmur from the top row! Deus, right? Thank you, sir, for the divine intervention. I'll cut right to the chase. If Yuki becomes God, can he really undo everything that's happened? Future diaries, huh? It is pretty catchy. Uh, what did you expect? I hope you don't take offense, Mr. Mayor, but how come your diary is the only one that has a weird name? What are you talking about? Well, you've got Perks Indiscriminate Diary, the Diary of Future Love, the Murder Diary, the Case Diary, the Clairvoyant Diary and Exchange Diary, the Propagation Diary, the Escape Diary, the Breeder's Diary, and the Justice Diary. And then there is yours. <laughs> the Mighty Peeper. <laughs> Dude, really? The Peeper? <laughs> My diary's not the Peeper. Watcher. Its name is the Watcher. <laughs> My mistake. I don't know how I got those two mixed up. I notice you didn't mention Pip's hypervision diary, the name of which is worlds clunkier than the peeper. Now we're gonna field some emails from your loyal subjects. Let's see what folks have to say about you. If they're complaining, just delete them. Here's our first message. Sent in by I'm Pretty Kickass and everybody knows it. Your peeper diary is a little too pervy for an elected official, fan. Let's call it the full head of hair diary and no one will know it's yours. Oh, <laughs> snap. And the survey says... No. Our next one is sent in by someone calling yourself, Give me back my fake arm. Hey, Mayor, the paper makes me think it's made of eyeballs. How about the creeper for the name of your diary? It basically means the same thing, so yeah. Verdict? Zero for two. Next up, a helpful suggestion from someone going by the name, I Dream of Hinata's Boobies. Mr. Mayor, how about you call the diary? I'm always watching you because I'm a weird old man with a funky hat and delusions of grandeur diary. That sums it up pretty well. <laughs> Sorry, boobies, don't hold your breath. You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe we're gilding the lily here. The paper is just fine. It's the watcher, you little maniac! can here. Slow your roll. Please be okay. Why didn't I see it sooner? Oh, crap. Did he just figure it out? <sighs> this is bad. Yuki needs to hear about this new wrinkle. Guess again, Sherlock! Ah! Deus, what gives? I fear such a mission of elucidation is not in the cards for you as it is your fate to perish here alongside me, Aru. After all, you're the observer. Under normal circumstances, nothing can occur without my knowing it. But in these days of war among the diary users, the future changes course far too often to properly gauge from afar. I needed a man on the ground, as it were. Someone to note alterations as they occurred. That is why... I imbued you with such ravenous curiosity when I created you. Deus created me? Is that possible? 
You are a construct, a reconnaissance device that has been granted the desire and the cognitive wherewithal to broaden its body of knowledge. Now you will die and return unto the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records? A heavenly storehouse of knowledge wherein all defining events are duly chronicled. My body, it's... Ponder this as you cease to be. You think yourself to have tracked the keepers of your own volition, but no such choice was ever afforded you. What are you saying? You collected information because it was my will that you do so. You're wrong. I'm not a puppet. I'm my own man. If it's proof you want, I shall explain how your deeds, one and all, were all undertaken at my unspoken behest, my dear Aru. But as I am a benevolent god, I shall grant you this chance. If you can make manifest any moment that speaks to your supposed free will, I'll allow your existence to continue. The case of Tenth, the dog trainer. I shadowed him of my own accord, didn't I? I needed confirmation of his actions while he was in hiding. Thus, you supplied said assurance. What about my probing into Yuna's background? She is a key player in this game. You really think I would allow such a creature to remain a cipher? I risked my life to save Eighth. I wanted Second's murderous ways to be kept in check at that particular moment, and you obliged. Dude, it's crunch time! Come on! I know that, Hinata! But Aru's handwriting is really freaking small! One last chance to prove me wrong, lad. What was the strongest emotion that drove you during your time in this world? Emotion. It was my... My love for Yuki. It's real. I feel it even now. That love was nothing but an illusion. Game over, Aru! It appears every action you undertook was simply that of a thrall. You're wrong. <gasps> Is this future diary I'm holding part of your master plan? A diary that exists to keep tabs on other users? But how? I had Aiden turn my phone into a diary subordinate to hers. Perhaps I was your unwitting observer, Deus, but that changes now. I'm neither your eyes nor a tool of your will. I'm going back to Earth to change the future. Because Aru Akase is not a drone. I'm saving Yuki if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Those are the words of one who answers to no god, one who has chosen to live. It would appear you have slipped free from your tethers on this day. Get thee hence, Aru Akase. Alter the future while there is still a future to change. If we're gonna save the world, there's only one way to do it. Meet up with Aru and the others, put a bullet in eighth, and undo it all as soon as I'm gone. I know it sucks, but I'm glad they ultimately see eye to eye with me and Yuno on all this. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna drag it out. Yuki, wait! You gotta go, you know. We're kinda on a deadline here. I need to ask you something important. Okay, but make it quick. Sweetie, if Aru and the others tried to sell you out at the last moment, would you be able to kill them? Why would you say something like that? Be honest with me. I have to know what you would do. No one's gonna betray anyone. These guys have stuck by me through everything. Speak of the devil. What's up, Yuki? Where is everybody? I thought they were here. We need to kill Eighth. Where the hell is she? Don't make me ask you again. I have a bit of private business with Yuki. Not to be rude, but could you make yourself scarce? <laughs> no! What have you done?! You stabbed him. Up there. They're moving Eighth to higher ground. Go get her! He wanted to talk to me. Oh, he's dead. Now you understand why I was asking? Your so-called friends betrayed you, darling. 
That's under some debate. <clears throat> How did you survive her attack? I wasn't sure I would. Swearing body armor. <clears throat> Armor's not gonna shield you from this! <clears throat> She knocks Aro unconscious with that stun gun. But that's two for two he saw coming. We're not gonna win this one, you know. Sure we can. It's two against one. I knew you'd figure it out. Thanks to Aeth and the miracle that is modern technology, my cell phone is now the one that watches the Watchmen. I know everything your diaries will say, as well as the changes in the future your actions will cause. My detective diary, Mark II. I'm sorry. But I've been playing the both of you like a fiddle since you arrived. Go, Yuki! Ain't this getting away! Don't worry, I'll keep this bastard busy. What? Akise totally called it, you guys. Yuno's been lying to Yuki about all this from the start. We have to get him out of that psycho's clutches. Because that's what friends are for, am I right? I don't get it. Why are they helping her escape? How could Aru sell me out like this? I want to trust them, but... You seemed like someone I'd want to know. Finita, I'm sorry, but if you're not behind me on this, all bets are off. Stop, Yuki! It's you. stalemate unfolds, Hinata is telling Yuki the truth. The scales will fall from his eyes, and your spell on him will be broken. How was that of benefit to you? I can't get the jump on you, thanks to that diary. <coughs> so, I let you defeat me here, just as it predicted you would. What do you do, smarty pants? You go traipsing off to Yuki and leave me here to bleed out. You know you want to. <laughs> but what's Yuki gonna say if I die here? Losing his beloved, that's gonna crush him. You're saying I couldn't bring back the dead? <laughs> but I'll be a god. What the hell kind of god can't resurrect dead people? Of course I'll bring them back. Maybe you can bring back their bodies, but their souls aren't going to be inside them. Look, it's the truth. Aro heard it straight from Deus. Damn it, Hinata, that doesn't even make sense. You're saying I can't resurrect everyone I killed. Face the facts, they're gone. But if that's true, Mom and Dad are... I'm sorry. Them too. Why are you lying? Some things are too big to take back. That's the way life has always worked. Don't you get it? Dead is dead. Oh, my God. A list. I never thought she'd resort to practically gutting herself. The situation's too volatile. I have to get him out. A busy signal. That doesn't make any sense. Who could he possibly be talking to right now? Why did the future change, huh? 
What did Aru cut up you know? Yuki, just listen Don't to me! Don't you say another word! Shut up! Hey, why the hell would I lie to you, dumbass? For <laughs> what? He did a no! What have you done, Yuki? <laughs> it's her fault I shot her. She kept lying about Mom and Dad. I'm gonna bring them back to life. If we're supposed to be friends, why'd you keep lying to me about it? I'm gonna bring everybody back. I didn't hit anything major, but I'd still be dead if Aru hadn't patched me up. That trick's only gonna work once. If I'm gonna kill Aru, I need to change up my tactics. Stand aside now. Stand aside, damn it. Eighth is going to you die. Know you are, Yuki. You're a coward. Hinata told you the truth, which is more than you know has ever cared enough to do. And you knew she was right. You knew it. But it wasn't the truth that Mr. Future Diary wanted to hear. You helped her patch things up with her father. You don't know what that meant to her. She thought the world of you. And you killed her. Plenty of bullets left. Don't make me use them, Kosaka. I'm not gonna make you do anything, you piece of crap. That's on you. You make me sick. Always did. You wanna know why? Because I'll tell you. You're always crying. Sniffling away like a weak little bitch! <laughs> Oh, look at poor Yuki. What's the matter? Are you gonna start crying, little baby? You don't get to cry. Not after what you just did to Hina and Mao. You killed your own friends. Is that Patrick? What did I just say? You don't have any right to cry, you bastard. Please, Yuki, don't go yet. Haru. You shot them down, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I'm gonna do the same to you. Looking at their corpses, I realized that I underestimated you know. I regret not killing her when I had the chance. Before she filled that trusting head of yours with her vile machinations and lies. If so, our friends would still be alive. I'm here because I want to protect you. If nothing else, please believe that keeping you safe is my top priority. According to my newly prognosticative diary, I'll be killing Yuno just a few minutes from now. What? It's for your own good. Stay back! Any closer and I'll shoot- the facts, Yuki. When the time is right, she's going to murder you. The dead cannot be renewed. And if you're asking yourself why Yuno would let you assume otherwise, it's because she needed you to kill without hesitation and endure to the end game. She means full well to succeed Deus. <laughs> it seems you're out of bullets, my friend. Get away from him! He's dangerous, Pookie! He tried to kill me! You know, you deserve someone who will always tell you the truth. When I get a hold of you, I'm gonna gut you like a fish. I should have let you bleed out when I had the chance, you know. This time around, I mean to end you. No, don't do this. Aru's diary says it's a fight to the death this time. One that he wins. If you challenge him again... I'm gonna send you to hell! <laughs>
on and she's none the worse for wear. A decoy? No, couldn't have been. The screen flickered as it snapped. I heard it crackle with the sound of the future changing course. Uh, Amino. Yuno always calls him Yuki in her entries. That phone was a future diary, I'm sure of it. But not hers, or she would have twisted into oblivion. Was it? You know. You're bleeding. I've got it bandaged up. How bad is he? Later, darling. He's not going anywhere. Killing Eighth should be next on our to-do list, right? I saw Aru break your cell phone right before you cut his throat. Just a decoy. And thankfully, he took the bait. One quick jab to the aorta. Then you can bring back your mom and dad as good as new, Yuki. Don't even think about it. Either I way, Eighth is dead. Heart. Listen to me! You know has been lying to you! You know what you are, Yuki? You're a coward! and the girl who took her place. Three bodies in their backyard. Two were the corpses of Yuno's adoptive parents. The last one matched the DNA from the real Yuno's umbilical cord. Ergo, the Yuno we've known as the interloper. But this one had two future diaries, so did she steal the real Yuno's phone? No. The real Yuno was never part of Deus's game. Why were there two diaries? It makes no sense. The third corpse. The real Yunogasai. A death match to replace a deity. A pair of future diaries. A pair. There are two. successor could most easily be chosen. It is a matter of no small concern, as I well know. However, it is not my only responsibility. What's for dinner tonight? Hmm, what would you like? I want curry, it's really yummy. But we had curry yesterday, mm -hmm. you silly goose. How about meat then? <laughs> a lot of things are meat, sweetie. What kind do you want? Something made of pork. Hmm. No. Oh. 
I couldn't spare the time to pick her up that day, but that is just... Don't take it personal, boss. This is really for the best. We don't want reality ripped apart before July 28th, right? I was right to be suspicious. Hmm? No, recalcitrant Im. As my servant, the power you wield is not yours to control. The bracelets round your wrists are not trinkets. They are restraints. Oh, we'll see about that. I have a feeling you're in for an unpleasant surprise. belong to each other. Is that water I'm hearing? Plumbing was shut off last time I was here. What's up with that? Don't tell me she's tapped into a neighbor's main line. Then again, why does it matter? No one's gonna complain. Friggin' world's about to end. Damn. It's really gonna happen. Hey, are you here or what? Trash can? There's room for one more if you want to come in. Wait, you mean like... Feels really good. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Lighten up, huh? Sheesh. You were so picturing me naked. No, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, sure. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Just give me a couple minutes to get the water tent back up and you're good to go. I'll just skip today. Don't be a grouch. You gotta take a bath at least every 24 hours. We're the only two users left. Weird not to have to keep looking over my shoulder. Still, though, feels like maybe I should anyway. What if they were right? What if it's true that no one can be brought back? What if Yuno really has been lying? A couple more pieces. Ought to do it. <laughs> She's hiding something, I know she is. But at this point, why bother? When the time is right, she's going to murder you. Who knows? Maybe she's just killing me softly. I gotta stop thinking like that. She's nuts about me. I'm fine. I want to trust her, I really do. Be stupid not to keep checking my diary. Dad was built a little bit different than you, but a few alterations and presto. Hey, I was serious about us taking a bath together. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Why do you say that? Well, because of the water. I mean, without my cell phone, it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> After all this, you still aren't able to trust me? No, it's just... Dinner 
was great. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. doesn't mean I'm not still in danger. Hey, Yuki. You asleep yet? Come on, if she really wanted to off me, she'd have done it by now. It's not like she hasn't had about a dozen opportunities. Why wait, right? Damn it, I don't know. Stay in the wings, I'll do it. Please, you know. Tomorrow the world ends. I deserve to be alone. I've treated my guardian angel like a fly. I'm a jackass. She deserves someone better. I want to be that someone. The end is here. I can't let her spend it alone. I've got to go to her. Time to man up. Hey there. Yuki? If your offer stands, I'm in. July 28th isn't going to be our happy ending. Tonight is. I'm doing this sort of thing, so please be gentle. That makes sense. No problem. It's my first time, too. Don't worry, love. We'll be fine. I know we will. Your lips feel like butterfly wings. Took us a while to get here, huh? 
All thing finally feels right, though, like we were always meant to be. So romantic. Since we've made it this far, what do you say we adopt a policy of full disclosure? Why did you tell me I'd be able to bring everyone back when you knew that wasn't true? <laughs> She's going to murder you. No, wait! It was just a question! What the hell? I'm sorry if I was dishonest. All I wanted was to ease your mind, love. Your parents were weighing on our conscience, and I didn't want that. If I had to tell a lie to make you happy, so be it. I've known since this mess began that you can't bring back the dead. I asked Deus and he leveled with me and said it just wasn't possible. I want you to kill me now before this moment ends. Before the truth unravels our happiness any more than it already has. You know I can't do that. What would be the point of winning the throne of time if I'm nothing but some schmuck sitting there pining over the lives I wasn't able to bring back, huh? At least you'd be alive, wouldn't you? No! Being God isn't worth shit if it means I have to kill you. We're facing the end together. Huh. Some things never change. It's good we're being open about everything. I wanted to be able to trust you, and now I can. I don't think Aro could have really meant what he said in that message. Wait, what message? He was babbling off of his head. It means nothing. I don't care. What did it say? Well, he hammered something out on his phone and showed it to me. It was about you. He said this wasn't the first time you've played the game. That you'd actually won and become a goddess in some universe that existed before this one. <gasps> oh, crap! No, it's too soon for this. What's wrong, sweetie? What's going on? Damn it! Was it really so much to ask that I get to spend one single day of bliss with the man I love? survey. Hey, you know. <gasps> Everything okay? I had trouble with the survey, too. I wanted to go out to the country with them to look at the stars, but they... She's immaterial. No touchy. It's you. The difference here is the same as between a live taping and a rerun. What is this? What am I seeing here? It's a very important point in the timeline. Your girl's already axed her parents. You could always come with me to see the stars. No. There's an observatory real close. This is where her life takes a turn. I've been dying Poor to little know. thing didn't have much in the way of hope before you came into her life, stud method. Possible. We could be a family if we got married. We'll have to wait till we're older. This isn't real. So you're gonna be what they call a hard sell. Okay. Wait, where are you going? You mean, where are the two of us going? Did I read too much into things, or aren't you curious about why she's trying to kill you? Don't listen to her, Yuki! She's a lying whore! Well, she's showing you as it's a truth! Don't watch! I'm begging you not to watch! Please! What are you doing? Where are we? Think of it as sort of a repository of all things past and future. These are private memories. What are you trying to pull showing me stuff like this? Well, it just so happens that one of my many responsibilities is to make sure the game stays interesting. Oh! Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. 
Soon I'm gonna introduce you to the guy I intend to marry one day. Lucky Sue was right. She needed me to keep her stable. The one thing that sustained her through the hardships of her life has been the idea that one day she'll be your wife. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. How come? The contest started not long after that day in class. As you know, only one player was decreed to survive. Hmm. But she was determined to be happy at any cost. All she wanted out of you was one day of untrammeled bliss before it was all over. Given that, the poor thing was willing to forfeit her life and let you win the throne. Once upon a time, you were dead set to be the victor. What happened with that? I got... I don't know. And I promise you here and now, I'm gonna put it all back the way it was. Things changed, I guess. I thought I could bring everyone back. That I had a chance to make you know feel loved. Pointless now, though, isn't it? Always was. If you ask me, it seems like if you wanted to die with her, you might as well let her kill you and be done with it. But let's focus on the topic at hand. You need to know how the first version of the universe ended. So, you mean there was one? Of course. I thought that Akase fellow explained that to you in his dying text. Pay attention, you might learn something. Uh, wait, these... These are like clips of the past, but... Different. Good eye, kid. Those are snippets from this timeline's first iteration. Technically, the timeline you're caught up in now is the second iteration. Mind officially blown. Reincarnations from the first universe, a couple of love-struck teenagers who killed all their rivals in the game and decided to go out hand in hand. No, I don't believe it. Second is about to make the mistake that kicked off this whole mess. she really found out. She knew from experience. The first thing she did when space and time became hers to command was make a relatively straightforward wish. Transport me to a past where Yuki is still alive. That, as you might have guessed, was her second mistake, because the wish was granted. Stargazing, the one I promised to marry when we were old enough. Why? Why would you cut her down in cold blood like this? You know, please don't die! Thank you. 
to know. You're gonna knock him dead! You know, you in here? I'm so glad you're here, Yuki-san. Don't I look... Sugoi? Uh, you look... very different. I'm just... gonna go now. Well, my bad, sister, but I really thought Yuki would go for something like that. Hey, enough with the waterworks already! I have a super backup plan up my sleeve! Talk to me. Why on earth was she all dressed up like that? on all fours like a good boy. Wait, no, what, what I meant to say was... Uh, I... Oh, what are you running away for? I don't know, you know. That S&M outfit should have sent him straight to Boner City. Maybe I should be having this convo with Aru. Ah, so he's a cat person, huh? What the hell? It's like she's extra nuts today. as soon as he turned in that dumb survey for class, so I waited around for him. But he must have slipped out of the room when I wasn't paying attention. Don't worry. I'll bring my future husband home to meet you two soon enough. Like she did the first time. 
but it just didn't pan out. A little sympathy, bro. Anywho, this is the end of the line. The causality hole. So why? Why did you want me dead? What do you mean? Stop playing dumb. You know damn well what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's a question for you, baby. Why did you say the two of us should die together? You said to me that you didn't want to be God if it meant you had to kill me, darling. You wanted to die at my side. So I did. But you promised me. You swore to kill me at the end and win the game. Don't you know? I could never kill you. And that's okay. But if that's how you feel, you need to be dead. Think about it. If one of us doesn't take Deus's place, the world's gonna end. And then everybody loses. It's a big responsibility, but I don't mind. You'll die, of course, but it'll mean I get the power to go back to the start and play the game with you for a third time. You would hack me to death for a damn replay? Both of us dying doesn't make any sense, that's all. If you don't want to kill me, then I respect your decision. But if that's the case, you gotta take one for the team. If you play for a third time, you're gonna have to kill everyone all over again. That sounds a whole lot better than letting the entire world come to an end. If you won the game, you'd understand. Hell, what do you think our world is but a gigantic chessboard? Every last one of us is a faceless pawn. And you know, you're not one to talk about killing people. My big murderous Yuki. I guess it's about time to say goodbye. You're insane. You're out of your mind. You know that, right? What do you expect of me, huh? I'm trapped inside a madhouse of a world that never lets me just be with you! <laughs>
Damn! I gotta work on my landings. Wait a minute. Didn't you die detonating your bomb? Uh-uh. Deus had another plan. After all I've lost, I got my humanity back, Nishijima. He saved you? Hold on to your ass. It's about to get weirder. Excuse my caution, but we needed privacy. From Murmur. Sure, whatever. I have a question for... Ah! Ah! Be still for once. I hereby bestow upon you half of my divine power and knowledge of the cosmos. Huh? What the hell? Your hatred of religion is absolute. Who better with whom to share a god's boon? Murmurs meddled in the workings of my game for far too long, giving second an advantage that tipped the scales unfairly. Now you will balance them anew. I believe this murmur to hearken from the first incarnation of my game. Huh? She does not serve me. Her true master is second, and became a god in another timeline. You shall be my ace in the hole, as it were, forgetting all of this until the appointed hour. Deus wouldn't let me die. I guess he needs me alive to clean up his messes for him. Can't complain, though. It does let me dish out a little more whoop-ass. Okay, then. Where are we? Damned if I know. I was too busy tailing them through time to check out the road signs, you know. It's today. I mean, it's July 28th. Really? Two years ago to the day. I was still in grade school back then. Probably just a fluke. I don't think of Murmur as the planning ahead type. Hey, check it out. Since we went back in time to get here, that makes this the third incarnation of the world. Thinking about it kind of blows my mind. Don't let it throw you too hard. I didn't bring you back here just to puss out. <sighs> You know 1.0 plans to kill the third incarnation of herself and take her place, buying herself another go-round of the game with this world's unwitting schmuck version of you. You came here to stop her. Remember that. She's gonna kill the third you know two hours from now. We've jumped back to a time before the new god was selected. That means the survival game is still chugging along. Your diary says that Yuno arrives at 2.36. It looks like we got to the party first. Party, huh? One where she's gonna kill me. Maybe, but that doesn't matter. I have to protect this world's innocent Yuno from the first one. Hey, just look on the bright side. The bitch hasn't killed you yet. Please, darling. Why won't you just come home already? I can't take another day alone with that girl. Why did we adopt her? If you're never going to be here for her, why'd we even bother? <laughs> he hung up. He doesn't care about me in the slightest. But neither do you. Look at you. Do you have any idea why you're such a failure? Why you can't do anything right? I'm sorry. Mommy's hurting worse than anything, and you stare up at me like it's my fault. All I need is someone to give a damn. Can't you do that for Mommy? I'll help Mommy. I promise. I you hate me. You say you don't, but I can see it in your eyes. I'll bet you curse the very day I was born. No, I don't. I love you. No, you've despised me ever since the day we brought you home. You purposely disobey me because you know how it wounds me. I know you do. Mommy, no. I would never do anything to hurt you. Why am I even here? You don't need me, and your father, he's never needed me. What am I doing living in this prison? What horrible thing did I do to Mommy. get sent here? My Mommy. whole life is a mistake. <laughs> Your silence means you agree with me. Don't be sad, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your mother is so worthless. This is goodbye. I'm sorry, you know. No, wait. Come back. Please don't go. of two years ago. Mom and Dad are still alive in this one, along with everyone else. Yeah, well, don't make yourself at home, kid. Enough gawking. Let's get down to business before those two arrive. Know you this, Funatsu. We are here to give assistance to the souls of the weak. That must never be forgotten. You're right, Lady Tsubaki. A thousand pardons. Have you any wisdom for the Founder? Indeed I do. 
Tell him to act with all due prudence while he is away, and remind him to only drink in moderation. As he knows, I will be observing him from afar. Very well. I take my leave of you, my lady. Watching him from afar, my ass. If she had second sight, she would never let me within 200 feet of her parents' car. <laughs> Pardon me. How are the preparations coming along, Mr. Mayor? Better than even I had expected. Olan's capacity for analysis is phenomenal. Putting the finishing touches on these future diaries should take no time at all. I'm pleased to report that the second and third Holon units will soon be operational. As you know, sir, that will triple the amount of processing power at our disposal. Good. Very good. Then the testing of prototypes will continue apace. Look upon my works, ye mighty and despair. This should prove an amusing experiment. Now we need but choose which players to toss into the crucible. <laughs> single car in the garage. Are her rich-ass folks out for the night? Just beyond this door. According to my diary, that's where Mr. and Mrs. Gossai keep the third you know locked up. Hey, don't get involved with this one, you hear me? Why is that? I don't need you making this any more complicated. Serious, because I'm not looking to actively court trouble, dig? You're only here to put Uno 1.0 in her place. I'll just look. I've got to make sure she's okay. You know? That odor. What is it? You see, she's alive. Now let's jet. The smell's gonna make me gag. Hey, what the hell? Wait. This is straw. She was eating the tatami mat and choked on it. Yeah, I need an ambulance ASAP. Damn it! A friend of mine ate something she shouldn't have, and now I think she's choking. Come on! I don't know. The Gossai residence in District 1. Please, just get here quickly. Good. What did I say to you? What did we just friggin' talk about? I don't care. I had to help her. I know this isn't my world, but she's still you know. I can't write her off. I can change this world's future to save her. God, you're such an idiot. You know, I'm not letting you kill her. Gotta get up pretty early in the morning to get something past your diary. It sees dead ends coming from a mile away. So I brought you a little surprise. I think you're going to get a kick out of these. Familiar faces. Oh my god. Mom. Dad. Well, now that we're all here, let the death begin. Don't do this. Time to go. Why the hell are we running away, Knight? Those are my mom and dad down there. Don't be stupid. Those two weren't your parents, okay? The mom and dad you knew are dead. But they... Damn it, Knight! Take me back! I've gotta get him out of there! I'm not gonna lose them again! Uh, stop squirming around, you idiot! Put me down! Now! Put you down, huh? <sighs> what the hell did we travel back in time to do, kid? Save you know, or save the new one on my back? Or maybe save your folks? Make up your mind! Why are we here? Got a problem, feel alone, just call me on the telephone. Hey, you party people, it's time for some counseling. Live on the air, yours truly, the great and powerful Dr. Murmur is on the line, so if something's bugging you, give me a call. Yeah? What's your damage? I'm listening, so go nuts! Uh, hello, doctor. I'm a housewife whose husband keeps coming home later and later. You should catch up on TV shows, since you don't have to share the remote with anybody. Bam! Huh. What's your damage? I'm ready, so knock yourself out. Hi, it's me again. Actually, my husband isn't coming home at all. Not for days at a stretch. What's worse, he won't even answer his phone. Dr. Murmur, you don't... You don't think he's avoiding me, do you? Pretty much, yeah. Take yourself a nap. Could be a while. Bam! Ah, 
Dr. Murmur speaking. What's your major malfunction? Me again. Sorry. The nap thing didn't work. Look, my husband's not coming home, ever, and my daughter's a hopeless ingrate. She hardly ever listens to a word I say, and when she does, it's just to give me back talk. And she won't study. Not that her grades are bad, mind you, but they could be better. It's not that I don't care about her feelings, but the competition for good schools is getting insane. If she doesn't give it her all, she won't make the cut. I only push her because I care. Hello? Get a hobby, sister. I suggest social drinking. Bam! <laughs> Okay, talk to me, homegirl. I know it's you again. It probably has nothing to do with it, but that problem child of mine is adopted. My husband and I weren't able to have kids. Not that we tried nearly often enough for my liking, but that's a whole other call. <laughs> Our folks are pretty loaded, so we were hoping for a boy to inherit the family business, but we adopted a girl. Go figure. You should have the birds and the bees talk with your husband. Yep. <laughs> wow, that was pretty fast. So what did he think? You have to help me, Doctor. I'm in serious trouble over here. Can you be a little more specific? Just give me one morsel of good advice. I'm only gonna say it once. You ready? Yes! I'm not a doctor. I'm really just an intern here. See ya! Bam! Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. This is Dr. Murmur. Ninth is really starting to grate on my damn nerves. Blah! Let the tramp do her worst. The day some stupid escape diary holds a candle to yours, I'll eat my crown. Sure, whatever. Come on, don't start giving me attitude. If first so much as takes a leak, we know about it ten minutes in advance. Kind of a hint there. You might want to track him down. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing this. The less I interact with Yuki's second incarnation, the better. It's not like the playing field's the same anymore. I didn't want to kill him, but he wouldn't kill me. The world would have ended if one of us hadn't bit the dust. There'd have been no more me, no more him, no more anything. He lost faith in me, yet somehow I couldn't bring myself to lose faith in him. I owe him a goodbye, that's it. Next up, I try my luck with Yuki's third incarnation. One way or another, damn it, I'm gonna make this work. called for one earlier. Yuno! Dad, what are you doing? Are you doing? hurt? What is this? The EMTs called me. I came as fast as I could. Anybody injured? Look me in the eye. If it's something your mother did, I want to know. Dad. Mom. This isn't right. You look different somehow. It's like, I can't explain it.
It's okay. I'll be right back. Time to end this. All right, then. Now what? Sorry, it's gotta be this way. So am I. I know your moves. longer he'll die before he's reached another birthday get him checked out now and there might be something you can do about it who the hell is this there i kept my side of the bargain try not to be such an asshole in this universe <sighs> version of reality period whatever it takes she can be goddess of the second iteration even if i have to die to make that happen best option really hell only option so suck it up enough is enough you know you have to stop chasing me shut up only one way to make this work Get that damn phone away from her and the future will be a clean slate. If she's helpless, she can be persuaded. Just come at me, bro! Queen Murmur specializes in taking out idiots! What? My dead end comes by Yuno's hands. The M's got nothing. Yuno! Damn it, Yuki, why are you always up to interfere? Because I love you, you crazy bitch! Oh, no, I thought she'd do it close range. How did I only graze him? Did his words throw me off? No, I... Maybe try this on for some! Not on my watch! Time's up, sweetheart. My dead end's a no-show. <laughs> Listen to reason, you know. Go back to the second iteration and rule it. The sky's the limit. So that's your big strategy, huh? <gasps> Why you gotta be such a pain in the ass? about how you feel, right? 
Core of Deus, grant me dominion over the spheres of causality. I so get it now, Kuki. I'm in love. Damn it, kid! <laughs> So your daughter and your husband are both missing? Yes. The EMT said something about my husband meeting them, but... Uh, sorry, give me one moment. Yes, this is Kurosu. They're in full swing. Excuse me? Forget it. I'm talking to myself. Anyway, listen carefully, Kurosu. Your boy has a heart condition. It hasn't been detected yet, but if you wait much longer, he'll die before he's reached another birthday. Get him checked out now, and there might be something you can do about it. Who the hell is this? Must be something going around. I gotta get an enlisted number. Heads up, Chief! We've got an explosion at the elementary school! You gotta be kidding. Odds are I just listened in on it. Son of a... On your feet, sleeping beauty. I was just resting Get a move on, people! set up the telescope. Better warn your appetite. No I made salad for your steak. How was the jacket I've wanted forever suddenly part of my wardrobe? And this dartboard. And a friggin' mina bird. Not a bad place to hang your hat, right? Think of it like a mirror where your heart's every desire is reflected flawlessly. I used Deus's core to build you a kind of personal Never Neverland. Why can't I say your name? What have you done to me? Nothing, love. You're living in an illusion where I don't exist. My name can't leave your lips because you've never heard it before. I'm sorry. This is my way of breaking up. My theory was incorrect. I thought if I killed the 2.0 version of you, I could end all this. I could hop on over to the third iteration and live happily ever after. I was wrong. I didn't think everything through. My brain is all over the map. I'm sorry. It's the only way to clear out the cobwebs. Don't think for a second I don't love you. The second iteration's simply out of the question for me now. No, it's not. Listen, you'll be its goddess. You'll have control over how things will play out. No, I won't. Not where it matters. You'll still be dead. It's like every other version of the game. If a winner isn't chosen, the whole thing goes up in smoke. This world needs a god. Think of this like I'm nominating you. Please don't be upset with me. Everybody gets something out of it, right? You get to live, and I get to try my luck with the third version of you in the universe next door. Even as a goddess, I amount to less than nothing without you in my heart. So this is it, then? You're just going to leave me marooned here? And you'll go on butchering everyone! Over and over again. You'll take the same stupid risk that'll lead us nowhere. Don't make me. I don't want to say it. <sighs> Think about it. I'd have fallen for anyone who'd let me cling to them. I'm sorry, but you know it's true. You needed to be protected. I needed someone to fawn over. We only worked because our issues dovetailed. <sighs> Hi there, cutie. <laughs> The hell is this? Good, you're sitting. Because guess what? I'm totally gaga over you. No! 
the real Wakaba would never talk like that. Take me. No, knock it off. <laughs> I've wanted this for so long. You have no idea. Get off of me! This isn't real! This isn't real! You don't made this for me! She's the one I love! Not you! Goodbye. Stop it! Okay, I get it. We were codependent. I accept that. But I wasn't just using her. There's more to it. So much more. Up. What's with the face? You look like someone just stomped your heart into the mud. Exactly what's in it for you to help him? Anyway, I slice it, it's never made sense to me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll get back to you after I've figured out why birds fly south for the winter. It's probably just instinct. Might as well ask why they fly at all. Kind of like love. Either you go with the flow or convince yourself you are. Enough philosophy for tonight. I vote we leave the big questions to our fists! Fervor, I shatter your restraint! <laughs> Seriously? Every now and then your dad gets it right. I say we find the highest plot of land we can get to and set up camp. Hell yeah. Any constellation whose skirt you fancy looking up? Dad? <laughs> You're such a freak. <laughs> ah, here we go. Meal fit for a king. Bon appetit. Stop ogling the chef and eat while it's hot. All right. Rub a dub, thanks, thanks for, for the, the grub. grub. <laughs> Wow, Mom, this is amazing. Eat it slow. I'm packing you black holes at gut-busting lunch as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds awesome. Hey, mind if I get seconds of this, though? I swear, champ. Where the heck do you put it? Something wrong, sweetheart? Uh, nothing. Just thinking about a dream I had. Oh, yeah? It was pretty messed up. I was in this, like, fight to the death using cell phones that told you the future. Uh-huh. Someone ate leftovers before bed. I totally fell in love with this girl. She was a stalker or something. Those are the best kind. I gotta say, I never really saw you going for that type. Was she pretty at least, or are we talking psycho troll? She was... She was always there for me, no matter what. Like you guys. And I was... I was just so mean to her sometimes. Since the last time I saw you, and you've uh, maybe 
grown into certain things. <gasps> Please tell me you meant that differently than it sounded. Sorry, sorry, I, I, I just... This is not going to end right well. Now. I need to get in there and pull some sleight of hand. Yeah, here are my commands. Make second height weight proportionate. since the last time I saw you, and you've, uh, maybe grown into certain things. <laughs> All right, Murmur. Something a little less dramatic this time. Sorry, I, I, I'm just not thinking straight right now. Just have to watch my intonation. Deus, hear my command. Make second height weight proportionate. <laughs> it's Holy crap, crap, she's a baby. <laughs> you know, have you, I don't know, it's just... You look taller since the last time I saw you, and you've uh, maybe grown into certain things. Uh, Take three. Sorry, sorry, I, I, I'm just not thinking straight right now. The core best not screw me on this one. Deus, hear my command. Make second height weight proportionate. Oh, hang on. You know what? I retract my previous observation. Wait, there's no one in there. They're fighting it, you know? This is where I belong. Rise and shine. Got everything you need? Mm -hmm. Did Dad fall in or what? Step off, I'm an old man. Gotta shake the dew off the lily before we leave. Uh, come on, you're taking forever. You got lunch packed up and ready to go, yeah? What? Oh, crap, I left it sitting on the counter. Hold on a second, guys. Between you and me, you, for a gal so well put together, your mom's a whole lot of mess. <laughs> That's a hearty laugh. Feeling good? Why wouldn't I be? I've been dreaming of this day. Really. All in a day's work. Ninth is toast and Yuki's become a lost boy. Now to tie the bow. Can't let you being dead quash the whole cause and effect thing. Let's just patch up that little ouchie, huh? You're welcome. Right, let's kick off the third iteration, boys and girls. Get cracking, second. Kill the 3.0 before she causes problems. Shouldn't be hard. Not like I haven't done this already. But it's how the game is played, right? No eggs and no omelet. Yuki's third incarnation is waiting for me. I have no regrets. I'll just pay my respects to this Yuki and move on to the next one. No regrets at all. Dad. Mom, I... Wow. Kind of sucks to see yourself like this. Naive. No one's death on your conscience. Nobody. Someone I'm pretty sure you know better than you think you do. Try this on for size. How about I lay out for you what the future has in store? I don't understand. How would you? Hey, kind of my thing. I've got a finger on the pulse of Big Daddy time. Have a listen to what you're going to miss out on. Your bipolar witch of a mom is going to plummet deeper and deeper into depression. Dad's going to start working late to avoid a scene. You might catch a glimpse of him if you're lucky. Mom will get paranoid and start taking her frustrations out on you. The abuse will get so bad sometimes you just want to die. The good news is, when you finally crack, you'll turn the tables and give them a taste of their own medicine. You just wanted them to understand what they were putting you through. You never intended it to go as far as it did, but everything went haywire. Tough luck, huh? Not your problem anymore, though. I'm giving you an honest-to-God out. No. What? This is unfair. Things haven't gotten that bad yet. <laughs> Does it matter? I give you my guarantee. In a month's time, you will be miserable. So? Right now, my mom needs me. I'm sure Dad works all hours, but... I don't love him any less for what he must be going through. Maybe the future...
future is bad, but there's a future beyond that, isn't there? I'll get through it. I'd forgotten. This was when I still thought there was hope for us. What? What happened to me? <laughs> Screw this. It's not about your future anymore. It's about mine. I get it. It's someone you love. I can tell. Son of a... Why has causality stopped behaving all of a sudden? Where's the mix-up? Oh, hell. Yo, Slowpoke. Something wrong? I'm sorry. I... I can't. I just can't. You're joking, right? Sweetheart, come on. You've been all about this trip for months now. This isn't right. What is it? I can't explain it to you. I just feel like there's something... I don't know. Something more important this is keeping me from. I shouldn't go. going on here? Oh my god. Shit, heads up, we got a roofer. Oh no. Get Sweetheart, me in the don't! Wait, stop. The site's not safe yet. Round up a couple officers and comb the area for anyone who looks like they need a medic. On it, sir. Ah! This version of reality is coming apart at the freaking scene! Second! Kill the girl so you can take her place already! We're on a collision course! I've never seen the future scramble to rewrite itself like this. If this keeps up, we're dead. Try to hang in there for me, all right? We've got help on the way. Hold on a second. Don't I know you? Lady Tsubaki, this was discovered in your parents' car. What is it? It appears to be some kind of bomb. Impossible. Who would take such issue with my parents that they'd resort to homicide? Damn it! Get your hands off me! Unatsu? I curse the day you were brought into this world! You would have the Founder's blood on your hands just to wrest control of their followers? You old fool. Mark me, child. Pushed out from their shadow, you'd wither like an orchid in the light of day. Mark me! This institution will not bow to evil intrigues. Our mission is to help the meek, not rule them like a medieval monarch. Oh great, Tsubaki's future just got a makeover! No, no, no! She's supposed to be a cynical despot who leads her flock off a cliff! <sighs> Vince, Mom and Dad were supposed to be charter members of the herd. Now the little rugrat is going to grow up without a chip on his shoulder. Exploiting the chaos for quick financial gain? Or perhaps you intended a bit of foul play? No matter. Justice prevails. Of all the freaks in this cesspool of a town, I have to run into a festooned vigilante? Silence, trash. You shall call me to defend her. I was curious when the dogs weren't raising Cain with all this ungodly racket going on in the streets. Looks like you busted me, Pop. My dear, however did you manage to bring these creatures to heal? Well, I'm pretty sure they can tell on your daughter. I've been using my morning jog as an excuse to drop in and check on them. Impressive. I hadn't the faintest idea. Hey, maybe you could, I don't know, teach me some techniques? What business could the mirror possibly have with an orphanage? You're funding. Hello? Oh, hey, I, what's up? Huh? Yeah, we can hear him, but nothing major's near us. Cool. Just checking in. They're okay, right? Whatever's going on has not bothered them. The sirens are nearby, but they can't tell what the fuss is about. They'll have something about it on the news tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. You're certain, Mr. Mayor? Ironically enough, if I intend to change the future, I've no choice in the matter. Our clever little prototype has prophesied my untimely demise, you see. Mustn't have that. The game's design was ill-advised. I am fated to fall quite dramatically unless we abandon it outright. Point one. According to First's diary, I lose. Point two. The winner shall leave this universe to its ruin in favor of an 
an alternate past. Clearly, we needs must reconsider the contest. My successor shall be chosen by other means. Darling Yuki rewrote history, brought this Yuno and her parents back together. He did it. You're about to remember. Good luck. I think her name's just about on the tip of your tongue, am I right? It'll come to you soon. Bear in mind, it belongs to someone closer to your heart than even this dream. Mom? Dad? No worries, you got this. After this, the next word you utter will bring you back to yourself. What have I done? What the hell have I done? No. No, it's all wrong. You weren't supposed to have this. It's someone you love. I can tell. I get it. It is. A man I would forsake reality just to be with. That's what love is. Doing what you have to. Making the ultimate sacrifice. Death is nothing. No, no! you to stab me. My baby girl. Mom. You get why, don't you? You don't belong here. I know. Good. When I die, you'll have a place that you can call home. I understand. This is what you really want me to do. Eureka! If she kills first, we can salvage this train wreck! I can think of words. 
worse ways to go. At least I can say it was you. You're a freak. You know that? What have you done? This is the place I want to call home. Damn you. We had a deal, remember? I'm not going to be the one to kill you. You know. No worry rights this time. Let the future be what it is. This isn't what I fought for. Yuki. You kissing me to be the last thing I know. Okay. How about that? We belong here after all. Now a kiss like that is worth dying for. International terrorist Uri Yuminade is still at large somewhere in Japan. Sakurami police remain on high alert for the foreseeable future. Wow, sucks to have your job. Third me is a real pain in the ass. I'm glad you find it so funny. Chill, Dragnet. Play your cards right and you're bound to catch me eventually. Maybe you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Detective Nishijima? Where the hell are you? Thought you were supposed to be my ride. Oh crap, sorry. On the way, sir. Just sit there like that. You've got to have something on your mind. You really need to get yourself a better hobby. And as if I needed another reason to hate the bastard, he said my hair makes me look like a tool. Then you remember he's the one who signs your paychecks and you decided to be the better man. Well, yeah, it's what I do. <laughs> Doing whatever it is you guys do. Shall we, madam? I'm ready when you are, Mr. Mayor. What's on the docket for today? I'm afraid that's classified. Kinda hard to tell who's trying to hypnotize who. Is that what they're doing? I'm not gonna tell you what I thought. Ahoy, mates! All ashore who's going ashore? Coming! Does the observer have anything to relay, or have the boundaries remained intact? Everything's cool, Chief. So far, no one's tried to run interference from any neighboring dimensions. An auspicious state. Diary? Yep, it's a scrapbook for family stuff. Here we are at the planetarium. Wow, that's super awesome. I haven't been to one of those things in forever. Give it here. I want to see. It's a little weird keeping a diary on your phone, though. Even though it's really weird, I think it will help me remember something I've forgotten. 
What are you talking about? Like what? I don't really know. You are so random. Yeah. It's just whatever. You okay? has it been since I became God? A thousand years? Ten thousand? I'm so bored. I've read this stupid manga a bazillion times. I could draw it in my sleep. Come on, boss. Give me something to do. I'm dying over here. Quit sulking and use your badass powers to make something of this void already. What would be the point? A void is all that makes sense without her. Yeah, so you've been saying for millennia. Sure, all the iterations of this universe are sealed off, but why not just do what anyone else would do in this situation and find a new girl? If you'd ever had your heart broken, you'd know that's a stupid question. Still, you gotta be the only other person in existence. It's a damn good thing I've grown fond of you. I've heard it all before, Murmur. Let it go. I always wonder what became of Yuno's third incarnation. Is she living the life she wanted? God, I wish I could stop thinking it mattered. It's beyond over. Ancient history. This diary's the only other thing I allow to exist in this version of... Unpleasantness as they make their way home. Monitor? Dismissed. 
Court's open, right? Ours for the claimant, dude. Shame we don't have enough people. So we find somebody. It's not like it's hard. Huh. Hey, Amino, you game? Bad idea. Dude, really? He's not gonna be into it, trust me. Creeps are wallflowers. Is that why his face is buried in that friggin' cell phone 24-7? What's all that crap about? Who knows? I heard he keeps, like, a diary or something. Miss Gassai, I'd appreciate it if you could deliver these to the faculty lounge on your way out. Happy to, sir. I'll get right on. I could on. also use your help in the library if you can spare the time. Sure. I'm what you might call a bystander, a casual observer. Always have been, really. I started begging off of sports and stuff in grade school, so now people pretty much leave me alone. Guess I keep a journal out of boredom, to be honest. I mean, what else was I gonna do? Don't get me wrong, I have friends. They just happen to be, well, kind of imaginary. Deus. Yukiteru. A moment, please. I am amending a finer point of causality. Sounds like somebody's got a lot on their plate. Reality benefits from the occasional jolt. You're not gonna, like, I don't know, spark a war or anything, are you? You dislike violence? Wheels within wheels, lad. Just you wait and see. Deus Ex Machina, Lord of Space and Time. That thing we call the universe? That's his baby. Again with the diary. How does a kid like you have that much to write about? Well, I mean, it's not like I'm writing a memoir or anything. I just like to jot down the when and where of things, you know? Things like the fact you're lousing up my bed. So jot this down. Wow, murmur, way to be mature. Way to not have your entries be all random. That's the whole point. If I tried to organize them, there'd be too much of me in this thing for it to be objective. Okay. Besides, it's not as if I'd have much to say otherwise. My phone is my whole world. That in this place. Are you lonely? Not really. Given the opportunity to reinvent yourself, however, what would you do? Suppose I bestow upon you the ability to foresee the future. Who's texting? Consider it my gift to you. On my own phone? Out with it. What are you cooking up now? A diversion of sorts. Whatever you say, old man. I can always pinch myself. April 22nd, 6.59 a.m. Scored a double bullseye doing my morning routine. 7.05 a.m. Home. The news ran a thing about the serial killer again. Another woman was murdered. They think the guy took a shortcut through our school to shake the cops. Wait. Did I sleep text? And how are all these from today? Whatever. Dude! Nice! In other news, the body of a young woman thought to be the latest victim in a string of serial killings that began several months ago was found brutally stabbed not far from a school in the Sakurami district. The special task force appointed to bring the killer to justice maintains that this latest murder fits the perpetrator's so-called escalating profile. Another the one, huh? Was thought to have fled capture in this instance by using the nearby school as a shortcut, <laughs> suggesting a familiarity. How could I? No. Just 
just a freaky coincidence, that's all. Has to be. This is unusual. I ran into Kosaka and Shiraishi on my way to school. Slow down, man. Hey. My bad. I figured Okay, that's ahead. freaky. I never see these guys here. They're on the track team. They should be at practice. This is really starting to weird me out. April 22nd, 9.30 a.m. School. Class 2B. Pop quiz and math. This can't be a coincidence. Wait a second. I've got the answers. Aren't they correct? Yo, dude. You like ace the test or what? Well, I don't know about that. It's not like I can compete with you, right? You gotta be such a little suck up. 12.32 p.m. Classroom. Kosaka gives me a hard time at lunch again. 2.05 p.m. Home at class. Sadanaka cuts her hand and has to go to the nurse. Okay, this is insane. 4.12 p.m. Walking home. Ran into a couple of detectives doing a sweep around the school. They're on the serial killer case. Can my phone see? Quite so. I have an inkling you'll find prognostication very handy. This is impossible. You're a figment of my imagination. How does that translate into knowing what my future is? I mean, you... I thought you up, and I don't know what's coming next. Do you believe imagination and reality to be mutually exclusive habitats for an entity of my stature? He's a god. He lives where he wants. <sighs> and beware the boon of a god. Yours, in particular, comes at a price. A diary of this kind and its user are as one. Should your phone come to ruin, so shall the march of days it serves as a privileged window upon. Your life will be forfeit. A future diary. Everything I've seen, no, everything I'm going to see is already here, recorded for posterity. Every little detail about what my day has in store. I'm telling you, man, his head's swollen up like a damn How does the geek go from walking with Look his eyes open? Look at the way that little tries to strut when he's all bad. And the way a loser like him can all back to the big show. Dude's yeah. got a hard wake-up call coming his way. What the hell? I don't know, man. This is the way he takes. He should be here. 2.12 p.m. outside. Jock's waiting behind the school. Thought they'd teach me a lesson by ambushing me between classes. They told me that's what I get for being a poser. Jerks. More like dumbasses. This is awesome. Keep this puppy in good shape, and I've basically got a cheat sheet for, like, everything. <laughs> I completely and totally win at life. The trail's getting hot. Mr. Hiyama, no offense or nothing, but number three is bunk. We never covered this stuff. Is that a fact? I could have sworn we went over it last week. Yeah, you know, somehow I'm just not sweating this. Go figure. Uh, why do I even need to know this crap? Don't worry, people. You can always lift the answers off your phone. Oh, wait, except you can't. <laughs> What was that all about? Weird. Excuse me, Miss Kasai, but we are in the middle of a test. I'm just keeping my brain occupied. I could do two things at once. Uh, try not to distract your classmates. You know Gasai. Straight A student, pretty, got the whole school at her feet. Nah, can't be. to be dreaming, don't I? Dead end. What the hell's going on? What happened to the future? Your future. Don't get them confused. Hey there, Amino. She knows my name. You got a dead end, right? How did you know that? I saw it coming a mile away. Ah! 
We both know you're not going to hurt me. My diary says so. Tends not to be wrong. Your diary? Besides, it's not what you think. You don't have any reason to hurt me. He's here. Who? The local serial killer. Known to the other diary users as Third. Bad Apple. Third? He was slated to take you out of the running today with a machete. Good thing I've got the inside track. This baby's specialty is keeping tabs on you. At 6.20 p.m., you're scheduled to die on the 14th floor. But, I mean, you, all those entries are about stuff that I do. What the? Well, it wouldn't be much use to me if it couldn't keep up. I get the relevant details on your future in 10 minute intervals. The diary of future love. 10 minute intervals? This nut job writes about me in her diary every 10 minutes on the friggin' dot? Crazy stalker alert! In a way, your future kind of belongs to both of us. That's it. I want Silly. all- Silly, don't start getting paranoid. I'm trying to help. You'll be the first person eliminated from the survival game if you get off on 14. What does that mean? I... All future diary users are in a last man standing type of thing. He's coming for you. Okay, any second now she'll start making sense. If you want my advice, try not to let your entries be so topical. It makes it too easy to track you. Oh, great idea. Being on the roof makes getting away a total cinch. You know the whole you can run but you can't hide bit? Kind of fits this situation to a T. So, at least up here we can take in the sunset. This chick is certifiable. If I let her call the shots, I'm dead meat. This is an ideal place to confront him. Are you yanking my chain? <laughs> I do have a plan, you know. My darts? That dart's gonna make or break your future. Hope you're feeling lucky today. shot at this. Come on, take out your diary. Remember, a future diary is equal parts weapon and Achilles heel. The fate of the diary and its user are entwined. Damn it. Where the hell are they? Destroy his phone. Destroy him. Little 
little bit of blood. So, uh, what do you say we grab a bite to eat? Your mom is out tonight, right? And you gotta have something. I demand to know what's going on. You never said there were other people running around with future diaries. Neither do I recollect saying the gift of future sight was unique to you. Cheap shot. Calm yourself. I've not been duplicitous. I told you this was a diversion. What's more, boy, you stand as its first victim. Wait, what? <sighs> ah, congratulations first. Yeah, nice work, dude. Takes some real balls to wipe out a practice manhunter. I'm looking at the other diary users, aren't I? Is that... you know? Now that you've all congregated under the auspices of my survival game, permit me to extrapolate on its rules and purpose. Let us first consider the diaries in your possession, known rather quaintly as future diaries. Having begun as ordinary linear journals, their relationship to time has been distorted to afford you a window into the future, up to 90 days. If I may interject... Speak your mind, Tenth. Given your explanation, I'm curious as to how it is I've witnessed my own diary rewrite itself multiple times. The future is subject to change in response to a user's actions. Consider, for example, gleaning foreknowledge of some imminent personal catastrophe that is to befall you down the road. When the appointed hour of said catastrophe arrives, the foreknowledge allows you to take steps to avoid it, thus curtailing one future and inaugurating another. In other words, the timeline of which the catastrophe is part has been left. A new future begins, your diary alters to reflect the change. Then I have a question. My diary has changed without me doing anything. I mean, I didn't even know this third creep was after me to begin with. None of you is the sole determinant of your own future, hence the stakes that render these proceedings a test of survival. Once there is confirmation that one user is poised to kill another, a death sentence will be entered and the words dead end sent to your diary as a warning. How are we supposed to know who to kill when we don't know who they are? The identity of your fellow competitors can be deduced from your diaries. So the first thing we do is figure out who everyone is and take it from there? Precisely. Unveiling your opponents will severely compromise their position. Whosoever receives a dead-end warning must marshal all their resources to undo it. Thus, discretion is invaluable. You first. Your death at the hands of third was written in stone. But miracle of miracles, you reduced the verdict to mere scribbles in the sand. Should we owe this more to cunning than luck, you may well be my champion. In any event, without question, your beginnings bode propitiously. But what if the cunning didn't exactly come from me? Lo, he who weathers the vicious onslaught shall win a throne incomparable. Indeed, he will succeed me, bearing the mantle of space-time as its reborn god. Look around you. Eleven only remain. Henceforth, consign mercy to the outlines of your warrior's heart and buy for control of the universe. First things first, you might say. Well, brother. A pleasant day to you, oh favored one. You'd better stay alive long enough for me to kill you. Bye-bye first. Best of luck to you. Wait, I... Uh... Fear leaves an aura about you. Sounds like this game should be interesting, hunting down a kid with your skills. It, it wasn't skill. Easy, kid. I'm gonna be watching over you. You poor little monkey. Please, I... I declare this meeting adjourned. This is insanity. There's just no other word for it. Don't worry, Yuki. It'll be okay. You know who's here to protect you. I'll do... Today's your lucky day, my friend! You, sir, have been chosen to be one of 12 future diary users! Witness. Okay! You give me no choice. Wait! No, 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 no! I'm not! Alrighty. 
Maybe then seems you kind of had a problem listening. Let's try this again, this time without the hack and slash. This is a log of your homicidal conquest, is it not? Your murder diary? Well, you'll be happy to know I've added some killer new features to it. How did you get your hands on that? <laughs> it's what I do. All of it anyway, must be destroyed. The you the Will, stop that and listen to me! She knows exactly what I'm up to pretty much all the time. Hey, sweetie. So here's the breakdown. I've got a diary that lays out everything I'm going to take note of before I experience it. But I'm just one of 12 people with a similar way of sneaking peeks at the future. All trying to pick each other off because the last man standing gets to be a god. Evidently, the guy they call third drew the short straw. Did I really kill someone? Mr. Hyama is uh, out sick today, so I'll be filling in for him as best I can if you'll bear with me. Guess we'll start with a head count. Please stay here when I what call. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Just having it makes me a marked man. And it's not exactly like I can ask anyone for help. No, no, no. It's tempting, sure, but she's stalking you. First things first, you might say. Well, uh... Suppose that's the best I can hope for. Sorry, can you maybe help me? I'm trying to find the faculty lounge. Any idea if I'm getting warmer? I figure somebody there should have some answers about Hiyama. Uh, what's her story? The guy's your homeroom teacher, right? Hey, did you know he also happened to be a killer? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna run on ahead. Sure, see you around. Word is your grades are up, and if a gal asks around, seems most of your classmates think you've been acting kind of uppity the past few days. Don't you think Hiyama's absence is a little on the suspicious side? I mean, after all, the killer died yesterday. His murder diary didn't help much at the moment of truth. He was in the process of hunting first when he got upstaged. In case you're not following me, the guy shaping your mind was third. No way! Sweet phone you got. I was dead on. You're first, aren't you? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Dead end? No! Too late. The name's Uryu Minane, kiddos, alias Knight. And if third was the appetizer, I'm the main course. Au revoir! Get you because I'm gonna get her. How 
How can she talk about taking a life like it's some random errand? I've got your back. That's what I do. So you keep telling me. Well, I need somebody to. At least for now. She may not be stable. But she's better than nothing. You know, I... I need you to get me through this. Hey. For you, sweetheart, anything. I'm not using her. I'm utilizing. Attention all you drug pod snot-nosed little tadpoles! The Soviet black eyes or of a pen they keep you ripped up until your hormones burn out? It's been rigged. We're talking demolitions, great explosives, decked out with motion sensors. Unless you want to blow up, stay where you are. That's right, boys and girls. The whole student body is now my hostage! protect you, whatever the cost, my love. Whatever the cost. Looks like everybody's holed up in the other building. They know she's serious. Oh, crap, the stairs are gonna blow out underneath us. Then we find another route. No need to make this complicated. just rewrote itself. Well, yeah, we didn't do what it said, so the future changed. This is why your diary in particular is so useful. You jot down everything. It's called the indiscriminate diary, because you basically keep a record of whatever you see. So that means... It means what we should be doing now is monitoring Ninth's activity with it. Now it's rewriting itself when I didn't even do anything. She's making a play. Our movements are interlocked now. If her future changes, so does ours. Apparently, a bomb is about to go off in classroom 2C. Look out! Quick, read the next entry. It looks like it says there's another explosion down the hall. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know is really good at this. Branches off yet again. Got you running in circles, pipsqueak. <laughs> I've officially made a very good life choice today. This is a breeze. <laughs> or not. Okay, what's it say now? says you react to the explosions. Like what they do to me? <sighs> what is it? What's the matter? It's just I... I don't write about my reactions. That's the whole point. I keep a record of what's going on without really including myself. I don't get involved. My diary doesn't have anything in it about what actually happens to me. No sweat. Huh? So your diary isn't much for pertinent details about what happens to you. You might say mine kind of picks up the slack there. I'm good at keeping an eye on my sugar bear. Okay. Come on, Pookie, use your head. We can coordinate the information in your diary with the information in mine to piece together every little thing that's gonna go down within a mile of you. You'll be invincible. That's brilliant. Yuki, I told you I've got your back. Think of me as a survival resource you can tap whenever you want. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? 
Look at us. What is it now? How pathetic am I? Thinking I was watching everything from a safe distance. <laughs> I kept the strict policy of staying out of things. But the truth is, I'd have given an eye not to be so cordoned off. I was just lonely, you know? I wanted to be the guy everybody liked. Talk to that one girl. Deep down, though, I was just too scared of getting hurt. Is that irony or what? I'm always calling myself an observer, when really I'm just a coward. Stop talking like your life's over, silly. You got at least an hour and a half before your dead end becomes a reality. I say we nix the milk fest and get ourselves over to the other buildings. I mean, think about it. They're all your friends, right? They're bound to help us. Only thing that worries me is why his dead end is scheduled for 204. She could have killed him at any time. Why is she putting it off? All right then, Chief. We got the SWAT snipers in position on the rooftop. Call them off. Beg pardon, sir? This is Uri Ominene we're dealing with. What kind of leverage do we have if we don't put her in the crosshairs? She's too clever. We wouldn't have any leverage either way. Little Fury has the bombs programmed to go off en masse the second her heart stops. She's made herself into the ultimate trigger. But that's crazy. She's right. What I've got to do right now is think about my classmates. They'll have to take the whole future diary thing at face value, sure. But if they can just hear me out, there's no reason we can't pull through this. I don't like this. It's too quiet. Too long since my diary's rewritten itself. I know him. I'm sorry, what? Kosaka, hey! Hold on, this isn't right. Why are they out of their classrooms? Oh no! Here's the deal. I'm after Amino. Pull your resources and deliver him to me like the good little drones you are, and hey, I have to disarm the bombs for a sack, huh? Do me that kindness, ladies and germs, and no one else needs to die today. Truss him up and toss his cell phone out of reach. Watch out for his girlfriend, too. Get him down here and we're even Steven. This isn't real. We're supposed to be in this together! Why are you doing this? I'd stay right there if I were you. There's a minefield between us. Let go of me, please! I've got to protect him! That'll do, everyone. Much obliged. Motion sensors are back online, by the way, so get comfy. They're your friends, right? They're bound to help us. It was my idea to reach out to these people. I told him they were his friends. This is all my fault. They're monsters. They couldn't care less if Yuki lives or dies. They... they've made a liar out of me. End of the line first. Too bad, so sad. I can't let this happen. Whatever the cost. This is what you all get for selling out my poor Yuki! Anyone who treats my man like a bargaining chip can get blown to hell! Looks like we've got a loose cannon. Chief, look at this! I'm going in. Stop it, you know. You're going to kill everyone. It's all over. I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna die. I'm really gonna die. Hey, I'm not all bad. Your backstabbing friends can go with you. In ten minutes, this place will go up like a munitions factory. Ten minutes. 2.04 p.m. My dead end. That's how it happens. You haven't lived till you've seen what I can do with plastic. You're at 11. We 
need you at a four. Do courtesy when on my turf. How's it hanging, first? Do I know you? Ah, no worries. It's not a surprise that you don't remember me. Stop wasting my time, Forth. Stop wasting mine. We both know what you're here for. <laughs> Did she say... It's a little complicated. All you really need to know right now is that she isn't here for you. It's me she wants. Say hello to the case diary. It lets me know how jobs I'm on will pan out. Being a god doesn't do it for me. My cup of tea is bringing homicidal maniacs to justice. Excuse me. Not to break up your little powwow over there, but I'd kind of like to start laying out a few demands. I'll just take your silence as a green light. So... Blow the little bastard's brains out, then do yourself! It's bad enough I have to wrangle with a whipped teenager? I'm not about to leave a soothsaying homicide cop on the loose. No dice, Knight. Fine! Then everybody can go to hell! Don't take it personally. She's painted me into a corner. For what it's worth, your death is gonna weigh on me. Naturally. I mean, how long did I think a wuss like me would hold out in this game? I'm just a wallflower, terrified of life. When push came to shove, I had to use a crazy girl just to make it this far. Death was only a matter of time. Please. Promise me my death won't be for nothing. <laughs> promise me it won't be as meaningless as my stupid life's always been. You know. Don't just sit there. Get your diary. <laughs> If you really want your life to mean something, then get off your ass. Show us you're a force to be reckoned with. And maybe help your little friend. Turn that fear to advantage. Dress it up as a game face. Hmm? Sure, that'll do. Go for it. He's out of his damn head. The mind field. Yuki, come! Son of a... Hey, I don't like where this is going. Here to the right! Seriously? The little tramp's a diary user! Enough playing cowboy for Now left, then another left after that! Shut up! Oh. Crap, now what? Fine, I'll do this manually. and the others will be falling all over themselves to get at you, kid. When they pounce, I'll be there to put a stop to this madness. Matter of fact, I propose the three of us form a partnership to ensure exactly that. We can call ourselves the Future Diary Alliance or something like that. Corny, I know, but are you with me? Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you say we get going? A character that you'll notice doesn't get much screen time. Yeah, sure, they'll tack me on at the end, but it's really just for exposition. See, 
Anyway, the point of this segment is to spell out things you may not have gotten on your own. Nice of him, yeah? Well, honestly, we're trying to keep you interested by laying out the backstories of the other diary users, you know, in case you're not sold on the principal cast yet. For example, it's gotta be bugging you how 4th and 9th knew who Yuki was. See, the thing is, both were originally on the trail of 3rd, who you'll remember from episode 1 was a serial killer. 4th is a cop. Ninth, a hardened criminal. Familiar with society's dark underbelly, they both knew some of the diaries would be used for evil. Fourth's diary keeps track of what the future holds in store for the cases he's working. So when he was after Hiyama, owie, 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 he knew when Yuki got questioned. So, wait, why did you need to know that? Oh, right, because when Yuki killed third, he was already on fourth radar, so ninth pieced it together. <sighs> anyway, what first is in for next is anyone's guess. Unless, of course, you had a future diary, in which case you'd be up to speed. See you next time! <laughs> something not so terrifying. It's gonna melt. Are you listening to me? Better hurry. We should totally go on that one next. Someone explain to me why I agreed to come here. It's been a long time since I believed in God. Bloodshed in this damn game. The first order of business is to identify the other diary users. I've dredged up enough intel to give us a decent start, but that's about it. So I need you to pay attention. This is what we've got to work with so far. There's you, naturally. Then you, Gasai, aka second. Then, of course, there's little old me, designated fourth. Third was Hiyama Takao. He's dead. And we have Uryu Minane, ninth, currently a fugitive. So that accounts for five of us. Seven more and we're ready to move. That the lowdown? Your mission is to help me find them. Mission? Awesome! Your school's closed for repairs until further notice. That's good. We can use your free time to apprehend Ninth. <sighs> Ugh, that woman. Just the thought of her out there running around makes my skin crawl. Doesn't help she's always keyed into the perfect getaway plan thanks to her diary. It's just my luck to be on her bad side. You're not going to try to use us as bait or anything, are you? Well, uh, here's the plan. Ninth's on the lamb, sure. She's bent on offing you both. Bait isn't the word I would choose, but, well, you see where I'm going with this. We're just digging around here. How is this helping? I should my ass. Bet you anything, he's just trying to keep us close to the police station. Still, though, I can use the time. Maybe I can wrestle some kind of sense out of you know. It's just, when you're being stalked, how are you supposed to gently broach the topic to the stalker? I'm sorry, it took a while. It's all right, thanks. What's the deal Notice with... the straws? Drink up! <laughs> what in the hell is wrong 
Pull it together. I've got this. I haven't left the party yet, you bastards. Not by a long shot. Survival is what I do. Winning is what I do. This game's got nothing on me. Damn brain can stop any time now. Two cops around the corner, 50 meters ahead. Turn right to avoid danger. Got it. Hey! Shit! Hey, stop! Hold it! Are you not this hearing this thing? She knows damn good and well this stuff scares the crap out of me. Something brings out her normal side, I guess. <laughs> I was scared. Crap. I really want to get to the bottom of her fixation on me, but she's just so cute like this. <laughs> Upset side. Uh, excuse me. Her top got swept downstream. Oh, no worries. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Stay like you uh, are. Move and I'll be exposed. Do you want to? Wow, 
Check out that view. The city looks like a model from this high. Hey, you know. Be honest. Why do you keep following me around all the time? How come... How come you didn't want to go to the planetarium? I thought you were like crazy over space stuff. How did you... Your diary's driving me insane! Shut up! I know you like stars because you told me! A year ago! Don't you remember? <gasps> But they... The divorce just got finalized. Sucks, because I already bought a telescope and everything. <laughs> Why'd I write that? So stupid. It's not stupid at all. Well, it's a little stupid. I mean, I can't hand this in to the teacher. You could always come with me to see the stars. There's an observatory real close to my house. Yeah, I've been dying to go. It uh, really wouldn't be the same without my family. Uh, why you gotta be so negative? I swear, some people. We could be a family if we got married. I totally thought she'd been kidding about that. We'll have to wait till we're older. How can you be for real? It was just a random moment, right? It can't mean... sweet and all, but my gut tells me you're hiding something. Here goes. Holy crap, this is your house? Well, then good night. I had a lovely time. Don't go yet. You could come inside? Uh, uh, Got it. Thank you. Notify me the moment Amino leaves, understood? Good. Be careful. They made it home. Well, to the girls' house. That's good. Think we should add a few more officers to their security detail? Nah. No need. She's not going to try to make a move on them tonight. They're safe for now. We have enough uniforms out there to scare her off. What the hell's wrong? You're supposed to be an escape diary, you worthless piece of junk. Try not to make any noise. Are you able to move? <gasps> oh. 
Don't even try it. Everything's okay. I'm here to help you. Sure you are. Who sent you? Please. <laughs> I'd look at my options if I were you. Yeah, sorry about the lights. We're kind of off the grid at the moment. Oh, it's all right. Believe it or not, this apple was grown in our backyard. <laughs> Let me go peel it for you. Um, okay. This setup is... I don't know. <laughs> right, nature calls. Too, in your case. Why are you doing this? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, let's just say I'm a Samaritan of sorts. <laughs> you should pay attention to who you save. Your karma might get screwed up. <laughs> I like that. I'm actually an instrument of karma as it happens. Your karma. Weirdo, you will regret this. I promise you. Let's wait to stack up our regrets for comparison till everything's over, huh? Why hasn't anything changed? Am I safe here or what? Talk to me. I didn't know what would happen. All I wanted was to find a bathroom. I was just going to use my diary to find it and then head straight back to where I'd been sitting. What the heck's that all about? Okay, kind of weird. Just a little something to hurry your treatment along. Stay back. Why aren't there any diary entries? This doesn't make any sense. I'm going to count down from three, after which, well, you'll be wide awake. Night. Oh, shit, no. You, you're a diary user. doesn't say anything about me going through this door. Meaning if I actually check out what's in here, then I'll have rewritten the future. I had no clue. Who would have? Sometimes all you have to do is walk through a door and boom, game changer for everyone.
causal nexus to ensure all twelve keepers would converge upon Sakurami. And yet, as if in scorn of my design, something marvelous has intervened. The playing field is transformed. Well done, boy. Very well done. I've seldom been so entertained. It was wise of me to select you. Why'd you do it? You were good, right? You... You just couldn't stand not to look. Those couldn't have been what I thought they were. Right? I mean, they looked like... someone a late night snack just cuz you know hmm. I asked for no snack trying to hide them. Do you think... you think Yuno could have murdered them? Pull it together. The thing to do is tell the police. She's got me. I'm trapped. I swear I didn't... Oh, Kurosu, hey. What's up? You out right now or just not answering the door? Sorry, I slept late. Hang on. Totally my bad. So, burning the midnight oil, huh? What? No. 
Somebody forgot to check in after leaving a certain young lady's house last night. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get going. Listen, there's something I really think you ought to know about Yuno. Know. When I was over there, oh, I... Oh, come on. Gentlemen aren't supposed to kiss and tell. People will think I'm loose. <laughs> Please. Two young kids? I've been around the block. I only care when you don't keep me in the loop. Fine. Seems Uriya was abducted last night. You serious? Yep. A gaggle of religious nutjobs called themselves the Omakata cult got their hands on her. At least that's what my diary tells me. Oh, okay then. We're heading for their shrine as we speak. Keep your fingers crossed things go smoothly in there. I may need you guys to run interference. to be rude, but she wouldn't even see the Emperor without an appointment. But can't you at least ask? If she says no, I promise to go away. All right, fine. If you're smart, though, you won't get your hopes up. You're a lifesaver. Thanks. Hi! We've got a live one! How am I supposed to let the cat out of the bag about last night without you know strangling it? Think about it. If she killed them, what are my chances? Stop hovering, damn it. Hey, play it cool. <laughs> this should be such fun. Guess there's a first time for everything, huh? She's actually okay to see you without an appointment. Follow me, please. Everybody got them on? Yeah, but, uh, what is this for? Don't try to get all cute. It's called tradition. <sighs> Yuki Teru Amino, first among the diary keepers, evader of no fewer than two dead hens. And none too hard on the eyes. <sighs> Companion is a fifth wheel. Her ladyship is through here. <gasps> Kinda creepy. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I am Lady Omakata, also known as Tsubaki Kasugano. I do hope you will enjoy your stay here. I would have a closer look at your face, Yuki Teru. You're... Quite. I have been burdened with poor vision from childhood. Thus, I spend the greater portion of my life holding court in this most humble of cells. One of the few consolations afforded me is to write of the many visitors I receive from far-flung corners of the globe. Not a month ago, however, my record of such people began to offer details of events yet to come. <sighs> Thus, I have taken to calling it the Clairvoyant Diary. Upon it are written the observations oh, no. of those around me. This is my diary. I am designated sixth among you. Oh, it can't be. What am I supposed to do now? I had the boys downtown set up for a raid in the event I didn't make it out of here. Detective, it seems you've prepared a raid as a precautionary measure. How very sharp of you. <laughs> Please forgive my laughter. It's just... Your reputation precedes you, and yet you lay prostrate before me like a trained dog. I assure you, you have nothing to fear from me. I have no desire to succeed God. The woman called Ninth is being kept below. You have my blessing to do with her as you will. No, this... this is far too easy. I 
am not one to meddle in secular matters. She's got a dead end. My thought is bent on more eternal concerns. You, though. In the course of this shameful game, you have already foiled two dead ends. I propose an exchange of sorts. I shall give you Oryu Minane, on condition that Yukitero stays here and protects me. Hell no! We're not agreeing to that! Dilemma. If I don't go along with the terms, Ninth will inevitably escape and more than likely kill Sixth. We can't have that. What do you say? He says no! Please, first. when she said she spends most of her time in there. All right. What's the diary say about your death? I mean, the person coming for you. One of the many limitations of the scroll, I fear. Of my enemy, it says nothing. Okay, I made a promise to keep watch over her for the night. Don't wimp out. If I may say so, she is a threat to you. I cannot condescend to trust her. My heart tells me that if you are not careful, you'll surely meet your end by this girl. Is that like what your diary says, or...? My intuition says. 5.50. Yuki talks to Sixth. Yuki looks uncomfortable after she says something bad about me. Don't let that woman get inside your head, my love. I'll kill her if she does. trying to kill each other. For you, my friend, <laughs> I admire your bravery. You were certifiably out of your mind. I know my Yuki. He never says something like that. 
Six is behind this. She has control of his mind. Bitch has it coming anyway. So yeah, no reason I can't be the one to do it. What was going on with everyone just now? Some sort of hypnosis, I imagine. Like they've been brainwashed? This display was simply meant to distract us. Meaning the enemy knows my diary's weakness. You've got to admit, Nine, one less eye isn't the end of the world. Oh, I'm sorry, would you prefer to be called Uriel? <laughs> it's a good look for you. I believe the treatment worked. Treatment? You gouged out my eye on the off chance I'd spill the beans about first. Plotting your escape? I wouldn't waste my time if I were you. Between you and her ladyship, there's no contest. Screw you. Oh, it's nothing personal. You see, in rock, paper, scissors, paper beats rock. Rock beats scissors, and scissors beat paper. That's just how it is. All three elements are locked into that dynamic permanently. Just as your fabled ability to escape will always lose out to her clairvoyance. Interesting. All is quiet up above. I wonder what could have quelled their little fracas. What's he talking about? It's been quiet as the grave down here. Come on, man, pick up. What's Korosu up to? The person responsible for this outrage is clearly on the premises. The question is where? Diary of Clairvoyance, Yuki. As it unfurls, so do the thoughts of my thousand-odd adherents. There. An outsider's combing through the lodge. They must be confronted immediately. Acolytes! That diary's the business. No wonder she caught Ninth. Sure glad she's on our side. Wait a sec. Look at this. What do you see? Someone suspicious near the back gate. But the lodge stands on the other side of the complex. Two for the price of one. Crap, there's another guy! A suspicious figure charges through the front gate. There are three? What the hell just happened? It's as if the shrine is being infested. Hypnosis! They're turning your followers against you. The picture this creates is too chaotic. In tandem, these futures are a mess! Of course. It's important to bear in mind that no element of the game is without its own drawback. For example, the Diary of Six is susceptible to holes created by information overload. Who is this creep? Holy! You know. Look, just give us a minute, okay? Maybe you could wait outside for me. Okay, if that's what you want. Don't keep me waiting too long, though. Seriously, you know with an axe is not a good sign. Surely you're hip enough to have seen one of these before. It may look like a problem, but in actuality, it is an engine of self-transformation. Transform! He's insane. I'm looking at a crazy person. You sure you're all right? Always the perfect gentleman, isn't he? Come on. It's not fair for you to hog him from the rest of us. Yuki's help is essential, but I'll only need him for a little while longer. That's too damn bad. Besides, he won't be much use to you after you're dead. <sighs> oh, crap. The bad guys are making a move. <laughs> Black. Oh no, another dead end's been triggered for you, love. Transformation tights! Transformation gloves! Transformation mask! You're a freak. <laughs> madam, madam, madam. You mean a freak who rocks? You're the twelfth. <laughs> Chaos rules the day up there. Give me a break. 
You can hear them? From down here? A sixth can espy all that transpires. I can hear all that transpires. It's because you're blind, right? Reckoning, reckoning, I'll be there reckoning. Da, evil cultist. Wait, da, evil? Da, Come on, da, what's the Omakata cult ever done besides being zealots? Do you question the judgment of justice? Evil wears many guises and I know each and every one of them. The wretches above us are no match for me. Vice cannot triumph over righteousness. I wipe the slate clean so that goodness may thrive. No villainy can foil my plan to obliterate them. <laughs> oh yeah? That a fact? Uh -huh. Your ointments attracted a fly. Someone I don't think you were planning on. What am I gonna do? Six and I are both as good as dead. If I could just find out where the enemy's operating from. the accounts of each and every visitor into something like a coherent whole is exceedingly difficult. This apparition is strange to me. Who or what is it exactly? Does it condescend to treat my chamber like a sidewalk cafe? drag a futon across the floor. The creature intends to sleep here? What manner of specter invades one's dwelling so nonchalantly? Poor little thing. I could sit here all night and she never noticed. My eyesight isn't that bad. By what right do you challenge my home sanctity? Huh? Oh. So basically, you've been cherry-picked by the powers that be to take part in a one of you might have told me before making yourself at home.
about what? Stick with me and get out of this alive, or stay with the four and say goodnight. Better hurry. Uh, now? What the hell? Look, whoever's behind this is after six, not us. And there's no reason we can't just ditch her. So leaving means we live. I gave my word I'd protect her. What gave me the idea I could? There are two worlds, one visible, one invisible. The second is a wellspring from which my misery flows in dark torrents. My sight was poor from birth. I could scarcely see beyond the reach of my hand. But God bestowed on me the gift of second sight. The future was always known to me. My parents were quick to work this talent to their advantage, proclaiming me the clairvoyant maiden and anointing me with countless eager devotees. Though to all outward appearances powerful, my role as the Omakata cult's leader was a pantomime. I was little more than a mouthpiece for my parents' designs, though happy all the same. They were kind, my visitors often delightful. Of the world beyond the shrine I knew little, but even so loneliness never presumed to touch me. Then came the accident. <laughs> Inevitably flows from that which we cannot see. We lurch along the path of life, spine bent with sin. To unbind our burden, what must withdraw from the road? My chamber became a prison cell, paradise, a living hell. My only comfort was a plaything of my mother's, a small vestige of the visible world. Then one day, the invisible world claimed this too for its own. It's not fair. I need it. I have nothing else. Why must the darkness torment me? I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Right, we have an exit. We're getting you out of here. I was right to put my trust in you. Sorry it took so long. Damn sprinklers are more complicated than they need to be. Get out of there! Things getting uglier? Somebody's hypnotized all the cultists! Come again? As if this situation wasn't bizarre enough, right? It's okay. Backup's been called in. I want you kids to make a beeline for the front gate and tell them you're with me. What are you gonna do? I'm going to find Ninth. 6.47 p.m. I enlighten Ninth as to my personal concept of justice. She isn't especially impressed. Is that his diary? Hey, what are you doing? Mm. Enjoying a sneak preview. Or pre-listen, rather. Say hello to the Diary of Justice. A record of unspeakably wicked deeds all but begging for swift retribution. That's how I describe the cult's unseemly agenda. Why I took it upon myself to infiltrate this nest of vipers and subdue six. You, unlucky wretch, were merely a token of my pretense at loyalty to the enemy. And through the prognostications of this magnificent contraption, I knew where and when to rescue you and how to give you first aid. 6.47 p.m. Errant litter behind a desk. What? Ah, <sighs> harmony restored. What is it now? I'm off to make good use of your explosives. What'd the diary tell you? That righteousness will be satisfied. I'd abscond if I were you. Crossfire, you understand. Wait, that's it? <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd swear you did that deliberately. Whatever, keep your shirt on. We're practically there. You know. Greetings, my lady. Truly, you I honor us. With her. I don't like where this is going. Wonders to see you, lady. Please oh, right. tell me they've snapped yes. out of it. They're acting normal for cultists, I guess. 
you're about to do there's nothing to worry about sweetie it won't take long what do you mean oh crap she's in psycho mode i'm on to you i'm not about to stand here and let you trick my man delusional do you see yuki about to be on top of you. Wait, say that again? Son of a bitch. Guy's bad news top to bottom. Blind as a mole rat, but ears like radar. He's got explosives with him and he fully intends to use them. Of course he does. <laughs> so get the hell out of Dodge already. Yuki, someone's on the roof! <gasps> oh, damn it! Absolutely no response to this. Mind your manners, miscreant. You're being addressed by an adult. Sorry. Hi. Heed my warning, boy. Sixth is playing you for a fool. The initiatory ritual for membership in this cult is a blight on civilized behavior everywhere. Neophyte alkalites are forced to share the burden of this cult's evil secrets, thus cinching unwavering loyalty from all who join. In short, this sect is a brainwashing factory. I don't... I don't know what to do. My purpose here tonight is to terminate Sixth. As I cannot guarantee your safety, you should leave. Be advised that one of me has ingested a timed incendiary device. And that me will be going kaplooey! Okay. What about the other four? Mesmerized decoys all, I'm afraid. Desperate times, desperate measures. I've had the demoralizing bad fortune to be notified of a dead end. I cannot say I'm shocked being deep behind enemy lines, but I can at least take said enemy with me when I go. You've got to be out of your mind! If by surrendering my life I advance the cause of justice, fate's terms are acceptable. Okie dokie, then. This would be a pretty good time to get out of here, don't you think? I've told you, I can't leave Subaki. Showtime! There's got to be something in my diary that I can use. Second guy from the left! Oh, come on! That's totally cheating! The real one's blind, right? That means four of the five can see. Gotcha. Wait, you know! Surely you're not gambling with odds like these! Watch and learn, sister! <laughs> gotcha, you bastard. It was the second one from the left. 7.07 p.m. Hirosaka Yamatsu, a.k.a. 12th, perishes. Dead end. What the hell's going on? Explosion. Give me my damn cell phone back. Do you want to make it out of here on your legs or in a body bag? You know. Oh, man. She's burning up. She's been pushing herself too hard. Kudo, second. You have my respect. Huh? What are they doing? <gasps> what are they doing? Sorry, Yuki. Spocky, please! Call them off! You've really... 
really not put it together yet, have you? Foolish boy. I mean to kill the lot of you. Ninth was bait from the beginning. Wheels within wheels, as our game master might say. Damn you, twelve. No, you... You're like a beacon of hope to people. You can't be this way. No doubt you think me virtuous. I was relieved of my virtue long ago. It's far too cruel a world to be naive in, or for that matter, a virgin. We could do something about your virtue, if you'd like. dead end has yet appeared on my scroll. Impossible! How can this be? I refuse to believe... zero chance of staying out of sight. And of course, the backup I called for can't get further than the hedgerow out front. We're screwed. Will you shut your face already? And while you're at it, get this thing off me. I'm not about to bite the big one cuffed to a damn pig. Fine, I'll take them off, but you gotta do something for me. My lady, you've lost a dangerous amount of blood. We must take you to a hospital. Shut your mouth! This is an inconvenience, nothing more! The invisible world yet again claims something dear to me for its own. I loathe it. I'd destroy the darkness if I could. I'd destroy everything it encompasses. Mark me, second. My first act as God will be to end this wretched world. But you can't! This world is where Yuki lives! That would kill him! I've just had a minor epiphany. Let's use you as bait. If he loves you, he can't resist. You'll know he reciprocates, and then you'll get to watch him die before your eyes. Hey, see anything? Nothing yet. You check under here? Nobody will hear you. <gasps> Come on, where's he gonna go? Just try to... Am I safe here? Kid could be slow. Watch where you stand. Tsubaki was leading me on the whole time. I should have just taken Yuno's word for it. Sure, she's nuts, but at least you know where you stand with her, I think. Whoa, the amusement park thing was a date to her? Yuno's definitely not your average girl, but what am I gonna do? She's totally serious when she says she's gonna protect me. She's crazy about me, and like it or not, that's turned out to be a good thing. Better hurry. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I ran off like a total wuss without even trying to save her. I'm pathetic. <laughs> What's that? Here is the microphone, your ladyship. What are you gonna do? I'm going to draw out your man. Now, you can't tell me you're not curious to see if this works. Let's get his attention. No! I want all the men to form a line. Testing, one, two. Listen up first. There's about to be a fire sale on Second Maidenhood. No! Are you going to man up and try to intervene? Stop it! I was saving myself for you! Get your hands off me! She wants me to come out so she can kill us both. 
But I can't just let you know me. What am I supposed to do? Tells me you're hiding something. Of course I am. Why don't you just kiss me on the forehead? Because it's your move if you want one on the lips. Don't think I'm protecting you out of the goodness of my heart. A girl has the right to expect compensation for her trouble. Yuki! Get off of her! Get off of her! You're more of a man than I thought you were first. Nicely done. Thank you. A worthy sacrifice on my path to godhood. Believe me, when I attain the throne of time, none of this pain will matter. Don't bother. You're in full view of my adherence, imbecile. All your movements are right here. There's no option open to you that I can't see. More eyes are on you in this room than can possibly be evaded. I know. My diary says that in more or less the same words. Funny. And yet somehow no dead end has been triggered for me. <laughs> Which means I'm not checkmated yet. I still have options. Options like this. I choose to live. I choose you know. You idiot boy! I can do this. All I need is a second. Look at this! No! Their eyes are all drawn to the same thing. Don't touch my scroll! My hand, I... Switch gears to the drop of a hat. Your house has dead people in it. I mean, how's a guy supposed to feel about all that? Eh, who cares right now? Did that cop seriously hit me up for my number? Whatever the hell he's up to, I don't like it. Why, yes, thank you. I begin to think justice no more than a fiction. Just the other day, there was an elderly woman struggling with her groceries. Allow me, a oh world-weary babushka. Huh? Ah! Stay away from me! You misunderstand. She ran in terror as though I were a common thug. Well, have you looked in the mirror lately? Look at your eyes and your I tried drawing a policeman's attention to a burglar. He was myself arrested for the effort. I'm not the one you want. I can't walk down the street without children throwing rocks at me. See? I'm surprised it's only rocks. Alas, perhaps I'm just not of the vigilante mold. I suppose it is all rather absurd, isn't it? Stop that! You're just going through a bad patch. I am? What you need is the death. Sorry, what? With this baby, you'll know precisely where you're needed and by whom. No more misunderstandings. Surely you jest. It's too good to be true. You want it? With every fiber of my being. But I am so poor. Ho-ho! <laughs> it's on sale for the amazing price of whatever you've got. Yes, yes, yes. I shall pay you 50. There, 
is a sucker born every minute. Did my good deed for the day, though. really need to start using my diary for more practical things. If I had known she was going to be late, I wouldn't have gotten here at four on the dot. Hey, hey, there he is! Oh, sorry, champ. Did you wait long? Yep. I swear you think I've been gone a year as much as you've grown. Yeah, well, it's only been a month, so whatever. <laughs> here he goes with the attitude. This is not going to be a good day. This is my mom. She's a big shot game developer or whatever. She travels a lot for work, which honestly, I'm fine with. I don't know. I guess it'll be my default. Steak hamburguesa. So why did the brass let you off? Um, something kind of came up. I'll explain it to you later. Change of subject. Some lucky cheerleader make my son a man yet? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Come on, you can tell me. Most moms freak out about that kind of thing. Oh, sure, because they're idiots. Sorry. Crazy stalker's the best I got for you. Uh, Yuki, was the window broken before you left, or...? So, that's a no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it was me. I was roughhousing, or whatever Wait, would cause you... that. Why don't you get dinner started, and I'll go wash up. Yuki! all the days for her to pull this. Welcome back home, my love. We're not playing house. What the hell are you even doing here? It's okay. I'm just trying to make a good impression on your mom. We want her to like me, right? on me, huh? <laughs> you can't leave the stove on while you're not here, doofus. Sorry, I'm still new to the whole concept. Not good. It isn't like Yuna was just in the neighborhood and decided to drop by. She's got it in her head to make friends with Mom. Oh, wow. Cleaning, too, huh? Yes? Who are you, and what have you done with my Yuki? Bet you're surprised. <laughs> oh, wow. She sounds like a total angel. I've got to meet her. Let me out. Hey, was that was that a girl's voice I just heard? Probably just the house settling. Let me out of here. Ah, you're telling me you don't hear that? Seriously, do you let weights in your spare time or something? Knock it off. Son of mine. What's up? Care to tell me why you're arguing with a closet? What? Nobody's arguing. Normally this is called leaning. <laughs> you must think I was born yesterday. Do you really think I can't see you straining? Oh, my poor child. Trying so valiantly to hide his little girlfriend. That's my cue. Time to push out and say hi, Mom. <laughs> Move it, kid. This is pointless. Yuki. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> a bit.
question, maybe. Why are they here? So, you know Gasai. Mercy, how incredibly adorable are you? Why anyone would want to keep a girl like this secret from their mother is beyond me. Oh, just look at her face. This may be the worst day of my life. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but I steamed some vegetables if you'd like to try a bite. Interesting. Good luck with that, you know. Mom's a confirmed foodie. There's not a pickier palate in the world when it comes to culinary stuff. my dear. You're pulling my leg, right? That's some serious talent you got. Very impressive. You practically got a little showcase going on here. Mm, I know how my prodigies when I see them. Thank you. This family could use a gal like you. You think? Oh, I'd love to get you in a fancy wedding dress. Or something more traditional, maybe. Are we talking a Shinto ceremony? Modernism's got its good points, too. Mm -hmm. Why do I get the feeling the rest of my life hangs in the balance? <sighs> Where do the years go? Kids grow up so fast. One minute you're buying them cereal, the next cruise vouchers. There's hardly time to get a handle on them before they plunge right into adulthood. <laughs> Son of mine. Oh, God. Birds and bees time. <laughs> Seal the deal. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I would pimp my boy out to anyone. You seem like a nice girl. Really, ma'am, that's very sweet. I'm not too late to the party. I hate my life. Well... Damn, they definitely yanked it out like a pro. You gonna start referring patients to him? I know that tone. Here you go. Right color and everything. Just understand. You're probably going to look a little wall-eyed before you get the hang of it. So, who was this beast who got the best of you? Shut up. Unless you got a death wish, you need to change the subject. So testy. Hope you don't lose the other eye. Shove it, Pops. When do you go kid clinic, by the way? Oh, that. Sad story, actually. You're looking at the real casualties of the Omakata cult massacre. Most of them probably saw their folks die. They were in the shrine? Child welfare wants me to evaluate them for foster placement. This is a legit doctor's office two-thirds of the time. Official word on the cult's death was mass suicide, which, when you think about it, isn't exactly a hard sell. Particularly when the truth puts their blood on the hands of an axe-wielding teenage Cupid doll. I imagine the powers that be don't want these kids clamoring for blood when they get older. You know what? Revenge sucks, believe me. A kid's parents are supposed to die first. Oh, wait! Get a lot of them in this one. Look at those cheeks! Can you believe he was ever this small? Or ever not such a royal pain in the keister? <laughs> this is so humiliating. We're defending him now, are we? <laughs> oh, Mom. Oh, and this was his first ever swimming lesson. Oh. What the hell pictures are they looking at? Somebody was PO'd about wetting the bed, huh? What are you showing her? Mom! <laughs> Baby pictures. <laughs> ah! Ah! You pervert, I'm naked in all of these. It's not like I let you go au natural till you were 12. Can you two please just look at something else? If you want, I can always show her my record of when you got the chicken pox. I hate my life. If I'd known this was going to be my day when I woke up this morning. And we're out, of course. Here you go. Sorry. <laughs> Get out! The next melee should be intriguing. The whole shebang is spicy, if you ask me. Every diary an extension of the user's personality. Less an extension than a microcosm, I think, but spicy all the same.
Uniqueness of character was my chief criteria when selecting participants. Sure makes whoever's gonna succeed you anybody's guess. You know, in theory, the game could go on forever, couldn't it? Might be a while before they weed each other out of the running. I mean, rules are rules, and there's still nine users in the mix. Let's keep our fingers crossed we can hold out. <laughs> if they piddle around, you'll turn into Humpty Dumpty. Doesn't surprise me. He's had a keen eye for other people's business ever since he was a little boy. Matter of fact, a month ago... Oh, I almost forgot. My being here? Work's given me paid leave for the next three days. Something the matter? Well, uh, have you kids by any chance been following the news about that nutty suicide cult? Uh, yeah. Well, it turns out one of my co-workers was a member. They left behind a child and the company wants me to look after it while they arrange things long term. How old a kid are we talking about? Four or five, I believe. It's a little boy. I offered to let him stay here for a few days. <sighs> Best get ready for bed, you know. It's too late to let you walk home. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Thank you, you're so considerate. But... Oh, crap! There's like five other rooms she could be crashing in besides mine. Cut out the Puritan Act. All I ask is that you try to keep it down. <laughs> night, night. Have fun storming the castle. And keep that rascal wrapped till you're married. First time I have a girl stay the night, and it's got to be a nutcase. Hey, you gonna put the moves on me or not? I'm going with or not! Aw, oh, loosen up. Your mom said it's okay if we mess around. <laughs> Look, you, you're nice, but I just don't see you that way. Give it time. Excuse me? You're totally gonna fall in love with me soon. Yeah? What makes you so sure? On the 28th of July, we take things to the next level and become lovers. See? Uh, uh, you do know it's my prerogative to change that future if I want. That's fine. And suddenly it's fine just like that? Would it kill you to make some sense every once in a while? Our happy ending is what it is, Yuki. <laughs> I've got news for you. If I don't like it, I'm... Let's get something straight, okay? Uh, uh, uh... It's my happy ending, too. Doesn't matter what you do. On July 28th, it happens. We join together in love as a single soul. Yuki, if, if it helps, consider it a challenge. I'm going to sleep now! The two of us, together. I can't even imagine it. Hey, for you, sweetheart, anything. I'm good at keeping an eye on my sugar bear. <laughs> okay, I'll admit she's, like, painfully cute, but... No, don't even start! What's wrong with me? My 
man has such a lovely understanding mother. And here I thought I'd have to get ugly with her. Will ya? I'm gonna pull the car into its secret hiding place. Okie dokie! I hope you kids slept well last night. <laughs> so, this is the fella I was telling you about. Hey, champ, can you tell Big Brother and Big Sister your name? I'm Hojo Riske! What's your name, Big Brother? Hi there. You can call me Yuki. What do I call you, sis? Oh, my name's Yuno. Sure to take your shoes off before you come in. Okie dokie! Face hug. Sloopy, 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 sloopy face hug. Whoa. Look at you. Little dude's a drawing fiend, aren't you? Aw, you know, look, it's you. I can tell from here. Nice job. It's a picture of the woman I love! Uh, oh, Yuki. It sounds like you have a rival. Afraid there's no competition this Man, day. this kid sure is chipper for having just become an orphan. He's the long shot in this race. I really hope... Nah, not possible. He couldn't know you know was responsible. Hey, you're pretty good at that, aren't you? Mm. Aw, did you make that just for me? scissors again. I promise! Where are you off to? You good to go in there alone? I'm a big boy! You know Gossai. This one's gonna be a ready. All right then, you know, shall we get started? <laughs> Target detects nothing amiss. My disguise is genius. The Amino family's famed secret recipe for miso soup is practically in my hands. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. But maybe if you laid it out for me first. It's not that hard when you get right down to it. The first order of business is prepping our ingredients with the utmost care. Item 1, purified water. What can be purer than water from a glacier completely unsullied by human hands since the last ice age? Unimpeachable soup stock. Ah! No peaches on this beautiful specimen, are there? <laughs> Item three: soybeans worth moving heaven and earth for. Ding, 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 ding. They always say you gotta keep the earth moving. Sweetie, I think you've outdone yourself. Hey, anything worth doing is worth doing right, isn't it? My ex-husband could make miso soup out of this stuff, and he's a disaster in the kitchen. Damn it. Give me a sec. I sort of have to take this. What is it? I'm busy. A disaster in the kitchen, you say? Sorry about that. Ah, enthusiasm. I like that about you. Here. Oh, and a quick learner, too. Let's see if it's fit to be called Amino. Okay? Uh, I'll make it up to her by concocting at the very sight of my gaff a batch of miso soup worthy of the gods. Item one, a little cake. <laughs> Let some salt to counteract that. <laughs> some good time cheese to fix that. <laughs> Which we offset by waving our hands around frantically. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> What's that smell? 
smell all about.